Okay, okay, I think we're live. What's going on, everybody? You know, okay, so we're obviously a little bit early, okay? Now, the real reason that I'm here right now is because of all you haters, okay, who are always saying that I'm late. Well, I'm an hour early now, okay? So what are you gonna do? Now, the real reason is because today we're gonna be checking out Haku's new screen time video on the top six, or sorry, the top one, the new top 100 characters that have the most screen time in 600 chapters of Tower of God. Yeah, we are very early. Welcome to the stream. This is kind of nice. You know, we got a few people here. This almost feels like, uh, the real ones are here right now. You know, we're here early. We're warming our hands by the fire. We have a, we have an entire hour and seven minutes before the chapter goes live. This is bizarre. I love it though. You know, we're getting, uh, this is almost like a, an early pre-party party. I don't know. I don't go to parties. Is that a thing? Pre-parties? I don't know. But we're here. Welcome to the stream. I know you do, Sweepy. And sometimes I see your, your faith in me, and that's the reason I, I'm early. I'm not even gonna lie. The sun is still out. There was also a time change. So... Because of the time change, it actually feels like it's not even 7 o'clock. It's really weird. It almost feels like I'm two hours early. But we're here. Welcome to the stream. So, I actually... Okay, normally I, 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 I share for all the people who are here before the chapter. But I'll tell you guys. You know, I'll tell you guys because I, I do not discriminate. You're here early. You're here at the start. We're gonna jump in. I freaking destroy... Okay. So, yesterday, my dad and my, my brother... Uh, we're helping move in uh, a new laundry machine for for Amy and I, and they needed me to help lift it up like over the uh, over the door bottom thing, the bottom part of the door. I don't know. It's like a thing at the bottom of the door. You know how it is. And I bent over to pick it up. Love the Michigan hoodie. Thank you. And I bent over to pick it up, and something just I don't know what it was, but my back muscles. Boop, And all day yesterday afterwards, I freaking like couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't, I basically couldn't move my back. It was, it was bad. I had to lie in bed all day. Like I was sick, just like staring, you know, I was playing video games, but I, I, I couldn't move my back. It hurt so bad. So I couldn't stream on Twitch yesterday, even though I wanted to. And um, yeah, it's feeling a lot better today, but my God, do not bend down to pick things up. Learn from me. I'm an old man, okay? When I bent over, <laughs> it was bad. So all you youngsters out there, be careful, okay? Because my God. Yeah, dude. I mean, if you think about it, I'm like freaking a quarter of a century. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's crazy. That means I don't like to think about it. <laughs> Can I be real? I don't like to think about it. I don't like to I don't like to think about that fact because then you start to imagine take your life that you've lived so far and what if you lived it again? How old would you be? That's scary, bro. Bed with the knees. It's true, man. It's true. Nah, the bomb workout has been good. I've been getting stronger, but also like I got to be you got to be careful with your health. Anyway, I know, I see Haku's here. You know what I forgot to do is put the original video in the description. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, everybody. So I need all of y'all to go support Haku of the Tubes. Haku made an updated screen time video that we are going to check out now. Also, my cat is meowing, but his machine in about two minutes is going to be... <gasps> Wait. The time change. Oh shoot, he's not gonna get his food for a for another hour. Uh-oh, no wonder he's meowing. Oh my god. Uh-oh, hold on. I might have to go... <laughs> I might have to go appease Chrono. Chrono is like, something's wrong, where's my food? <laughs> What's going on? Give me just one sec. I gotta go appease Chrono real quick. One moment. Buddy. 
Do you have do you have something to say to the people watching? Do you have something to say to the people watching? Yeah. Nothing. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sleepy said always the orange ones. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> always the orange ones. No, yeah, you're right, Haku. My cat is so smart. My cat is so smart that he looked at the clock and said, it's eight o'clock. Where's my food? Even though for him, it's the same. He's that smart. He's that intelligent. I'm gonna say that instead of admitting that I made a mistake with understanding how time works. All right, everybody. We don't actually have that much time. The video is about 50 minutes. I'm going to be playing it at 1.5 times speed. And I might be pausing it to comment on it occasionally. We did this for the top 500. Uh, or sorry, I always do that. The top 100 in the first 500 chapters. And it's going to be something similar for this one. Also, dude, I still think this is a, a good font. Also, wait, guys, I haven't made the font for this week yet. I thought I might do it live. I thought that might be fun. So, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let me get rid of that real quick. There it is. We're locked in. I might need to adjust the cam uh, the video a little bit, but for now, this is what we're working with. Let me, uh, I think that's right. We're gonna dive on in. Check the description if you wanna see Haku's video and go subscribe, go support him. And uh, yeah, let's freaking let's dive on in. Hey everybody, Haku here with the top 100 characters in- That's a little too fast. <laughs> Let me do one 2.5 for now. One 2.5. Hour of God by screen time as of chapter 600. Now, if you've been around, I did this video back at chapter 500. That's right. And I said that every 100 chapters, which is going to be like every two years plus some hiatus time. Did Boro get pushed out of the top 10? That is a great question. My boy Boro, I think- Okay, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Before we actually start, I want to make predictions. I want to make predictions, okay? So, I do think Boro absolutely got kicked out of the top 10. Now, hold on. I can actually... So, I actually have the the first top 100. So, let me go... Let me go snag that real quick. Yeah, it's right here. So, the original... You know what? I can actually put it on screen. This will be fun. Let me put this on screen. All right. This is the original uh, top 100. Okay? The original top 100. So, I predict this is going to be a very different list, okay? I think a number of these characters are getting booted, okay? Now, no spoilers, please. I think a number of these characters are getting booted, okay? I think Boro is toast. I think Boro is toast, okay? So, Boro's gone, for sure. I think Wangnan is also going to be gone. Think about it this way, right? Wang Nan was kind of, not even kind of, he was one of like the two main characters of season two. We have a new main character of Tower of God, and this is the character that I think is going to soar, okay? But then again, it's only been a hundred chapters. I think that Yama is going to have a very, a much higher placement than he already did. It looks like Yama's original placement was, and I'm, and I'm sure Haku's going to talk about this. Y uh, Yama's original placement was about 29 but now that I'm actually thinking about it, is it going to be that much higher? Shoot! Okay, hold on. Yama and Yasracha have to have a lot more, I would think. But but I'm kind of... Oh, shoot. The family heads got a lot of screen time recently, but you know what? I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to predict. I actually don't even freaking know. <laughs> now that I'm actually sitting here trying to be all big brain, I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know, bro. This is hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to predict. 35. Haku said the most shocking spot is 35. Oh, that's 550. That's 550? This one here? Oh, oh, that's true. Wait, that's true. So not all of these might be that much crazier. And you have, oh, and then Haku has the, Haku. 
you're a god. All right, everybody, let's go. And redo this. I would update it. So here we are. And doing this for the second, technically third time around since I did a 550 update since we were on hiatus. Uh, it's given me the chance to learn from the first video. Let's go, dude. That happened in the first video. Can we just ice Rachel? I'm down. That I would get to a character here and there. And don't worry, this She's isn't just going to be still, me up I here think. on screen. I'm going to have visuals on screen just like last time. But there Legend. Were times when I would get to a character, I'd be like, this character's in this position. Yuri's not in the okay, top 10, the guys. <laughs> and getting to see people react to the video, especially live reactions, which was very helpful. There were times That's when us! people were just like, um, who was that character? Why are they this high up? So unless it's like an Did I think Gun Girl from Akka's team was was kind of up there shout out to gun girl yes one i'm going to or something. do a better job of like when we get to some characters saying who they were and why they're this high up let's uh, go that shouldn't be super crazy i live for this stuff dude that another thing that people wanted me to do for this video that was requested was to say how far each character went up that's in rank so or down good. in rank compared to the chapter that's such video. a good idea so with that i'm going to do all of the characters and i will say how much they went up or went down in rank and Let's I was honestly i was honestly kind of scared at first that this video would be a little unnecessary that things wouldn't change that much that's what i was but thinking in the past 100 chapters only nine characters kept the same position nine character okay so basically everybody swapped around now it might not be and you know what? Those nine characters have to be like bomb coon, you know what I mean? Like up there at the top. So that's interesting. Maybe not all of them at the top, but a majority of them probably. Okay, this is cool. And that they were really last cool. time. And even one of those, the fact that they kept the same. All right, so for people who are wondering, I know a lot of more people are joining here. Also, uh, Onika Peters, thank you for the super chat. Uh, new lore video coming. Well, new theory video coming this week. Um, it's actually basically done. I just broke my back yesterday. Not literally, but I couldn't finish it. Um, people who are wondering, uh, we're checking out Haku's new screen time video, okay? I actually have a pinned comment. Uh, new screen time video. We're going to find out who the top 100 characters based on screen time are now that uh, 50 more chapters have been added and what kind of placements got shifted around and stuff. So, yeah. Only half of the top 10 kept their... That's honestly crazy, though, because that means, like, basically the entire rest of the list changed. In position is kind of wild in itself. So there were a lot of changes. There were nine totally new characters that go. entered the top 100. Ooh. And I mean, new was in... Nine new characters. I'm very curious. Weren't in the top 100 last time. Right. But surprisingly, like, extremely shockingly, I just kind of thought to myself while doing the notes, I was like, there's no way that any new character introduced, because we didn't have many introduced between yeah. 500 and 550, which was the end of the nest. Um, so pretty much all of the new characters introduced have been since 551, right. which is the beginning of the post hiatus. And I was like, there's no way none of them have had enough time to make it into the top 100. And I was pleasantly dead wrong. I wonder if it's going to be like, like Lil I wonder if Liliol is going to be shooting up there. Characters like that, you know, like weird characters where like them getting like 30 chapters kind of changes everything. Characters showed up within the past less than 50 chapters and made it all the way to the top 100. And you need to be in 21 chapters. Last time you needed 17 chapters to make it in to the top Ooh. 100 now you need 21 so it's okay just very surprising the bar has risen just as i went through last time i am going to go through the ground rules the basics before getting into this for anybody who's new okay so when i took the screen time notes this is I did important it by chapter appearances did this character appear in this chapter or not because doing it by panel appearances would this already took me probably dozens maybe dipping into the hundreds of yeah, hours to do for sure. so to do it by panels uh just extrapolating that out would take i think know, that'd be a full-time job and even then i'm not sure like full-time job and it would still take you probably years <laughs> just that's an insane task at least hundreds of hours and i just can't figure out a way to really justify all of that plus i feel like serpent that master maybe robodon because then you're just asking more questions I if a character is in a robodon? panel more than one time like when know. a character is dodging through attacks does that count or if a character is like barely in a panel does that count and mm -hmm. it would really pad the stats of characters that are chronically in the background of right. panels because though they are just in the background right. they would be in a lot more so i actually That's think that fair. this is maybe even a more accurate way to do it but that doesn't right. to say that some characters aren't a little bit screwed over by these rules i would say lopobia ren for example i feel like ren's actual number of chapter appearances doesn't right. necessarily, you know, tell you how dense those appearances. He had were. an entire but, fight with Bomb. You know, you know? It, it's the best multi-chapter no fight way of doing this would be completely. Where flawless. the entire chapter uh, was just that, Ren and Bomb. That people always ask oh, Tiara, about interesting. Count because that's the character. Maybe. If it's a data version on the hidden floor, that counts Weird. as a separate character rather than the same one. Uh, honestly, Yuan Zong would be helped out tremendously if we counted both him and Daddy Yuan Zong as the right, same character. Right, right. Um, it's not for though. silhouettes. 
it has to be identifiable. If it's clearly, if a character's like, wow, that's Baylord Yama, and we see a silhouette, and the silhouette <laughs> is clearly, clearly Yama. Then like it, in Workshop Battle, the first time we ever saw Yama. Counts. Yeah, yeah, that um, counts for like sure. That. that definitely counts. When it comes to other characters, if I need to get to them and explain it, I'll explain it when I get to them. Characters like the REA siblings that are a part of White, for example, they count when they are the the main personality of white. Right. If we see them individually, of course, right. they count. But when Joaquin is the main personality of white, it's, a it's Joaquin. Joaquin and when uh, yeah. Vicente is the or Vicente is the main personality okay. of white, then it counts as him. So that's the way those counted. Also, again, reiterating because this is you know we're in an era where some people are months ahead because of scans. Yeah. This is just by the official release. This is by chapter yep. six hundred even. Um, so I just figured that was worth reiterating. And again, anything else. So Kurt, it's um, it's all six hundred chapters combined, all together. So the shift that the, this is all six hundred chapters from the very beginning to the current one. I'll, I'll get to as I'm going through all of this. I'm hoping uh, for, for Yama, example, bro. Like, I don't know some though. Exceptions. There are only two exceptions know. that I really remember off the top of my head, being one where Mick Cage has this entire scene where he has an entire conversation. <laughs> Mick Cage, talking my boy Mick Burn, as I always call him. Yeah, 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 I remember this. Yisracha, I think it is. And we don't actually see Mick Cage's physical body, but he has an entire conversation. Yeah. And it's a lighthouse there to represent him. And I'm like, the, the lighthouse is clearly representative of him. And he did something that was, you know, significant in the chapter. I think it counts. Like, for example, if in the credits of that anime episode, when we get that anime episode 55 years from now, uh, like... That's like a significant appearance of the character Mick Cage, so I totally agree. I really think it'd be unfair not to count that. And the other very similar very similar situation was there's another time on the Hell Train where Beta has an entire conversation with Andrasi. Oh, and at least I think it's Beta and lighthouse. Andrasi. Remember when Andrasi's in the little like weird hot tub I thing? See. I think Fabian is there too. Um, hot tub. And Beta shows her that. the footage and everything. <laughs> uh, that's an entire conversation. I don't think we actually see the real Beta, but it's like... Beta's having a whole conversation with Andrasi. I really feel like I should probably count him here. Yeah. So there are very few exceptions like that. But either way, long intro aside, usual Haku long intro time. Let's go! Before I get into the top 100, I'm going to talk about the characters that were in the top 100 last time <gasps> that dropped out. No! Okay, this is, this is, these are the characters that got, that got sent to the Shadow Realm. Salute! These are the characters that were, that were, they had the privilege and the honor of being in the top 100. Such as Punk and Eo. For some reason, I just remember that because Amy recently checked out the 550 one. And um, yeah, the characters like Punk and Eo, they're toast. Gun Girl, they've got to be toast. These are, we, we salute the fallen characters that have that have made it out of the top 100. That didn't make it. So last time we had a big nine-way tie for 100th place. And this time we have a big nine-way tie again. But this time it's for 95th place. So instead of being 108 characters technically, we're at 103 characters ah. technically. Plus we have nine new characters coming in. Okay. Which means that we had 14 characters that dropped out that aren't in the top 100. Wow! Those 14... There are 14 dead characters. I'm considering them dead. Uh, this is crazy. Sanchez, Mia... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's start. We had 14 characters that dropped out that aren't in the top 100. Wait, let me slow it down just before he names these off because I'm very I'm very curious. 100 anymore. And those 14 are uh, they're Sanchez, Mia Yum, Data Viol, Elpathian, <laughs> Deathly... No, Elpathian, my boy! Oh, God. Freaking Sanchez. Ja Lulu. Mia, ja Lulu, Apple, Yuliu Mata, Ari Brightcharen, Dang Dang, Yuhana, uh, Heljo, and Kanzone. They are all. Ah, uh, wow! And Kansas, and he's actually dead. So that character can never make up his screen time. That's sad. Ah, uh, we salute you. We salute you, all of you fallen characters. We lost Shia Luli. We lost Dang Dang. Damn. Top 100. So Feels bad, man. That's crazy. Hell Joe's already out of the Hell top 100. Joe! Bro, he was, he was the, a villain for an entire arc, and he's not even in the top 100. That's that's crazy. Are you right, Sharon? I think I said, yeah, that, that's sad. That's, that's a little Are bit of a bummer Sharon? to me. But either way, let's just go ahead and start getting All right, let's do it. 100 itself. So we start things out with that big Ooh. nine way time. Yo, wait, Tiara made it. That's crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Oh my god, the gun girl made it. How is the gun girl still in the top 100? Okay, obviously we're gonna let Haku talk. I just, I need to pause for a minute. Pray, first of all, I'm imp I'm impressed that Tiara made it. All right, <laughs> flashback. Kanzen's gonna reclaim his spot by having a flashback every chapter. Okay, shout out to Tiara. That's actually impressive. Tiara has had more chapters than Hell Joe. That's crazy wow it feels like we just met her like a month 
Bro, how the frick is Mask Girl, Gun Girl... How is Pedro... Wait, Pedro has had more chapters than Hell Joe? No, right? You've got to be kidding me. EO is still here? No shot. How is EO still here? <laughs> no! <laughs> and Medley. Oh, God. Okay, I like... Okay. I like seeing Lafav here. Lafav has had just as many chapters as Tiara. That's weird. I like seeing so -Oh here. Huang is fine. Nare, all right. 95th place. Wow. Is, you know, 95 through 103. That I mentioned. Two chapters introduced, less than 50 chapters made it? And Tiara's one of them. Tiara's one of them. Wait, did Mate? Because I feel like whenever Tiara's there, Mate's there, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Before. And in that, we have Popadow, Tiara. Shout the break out. To the list. And also, Shout out. completely new. Been around less Dollar than Dollar show was long. You're right. And already has You're the right. 21 required to make it into the top 100. That's crazy. You have Lobo Bia Lafav, who is also new to the top 100. You have Suo in 95th, wow. who dropped four spots, actually. Medley Damn. there, Huang, Pedro, and Mask Girl, who are all dropping 11 spots. Same with Eo and Zun Wunari. How does she drop 11 spots and she's still here? Okay, they all dropped 11 spots. All of those except for Lafav. Wow. Tiara, and Suo, who only dropped four. So again, to go over any that you may have forgotten, Lafav was... That's true. Tiara, but, but we also had chapters without Tiara where Mate was there, like Jam Jam versus Mate. And the first time we ever met Mate was with Kuhn, when Kuhn was being escorted to Bellarier. So I don't know. From the nest, Suo Bro, was guys, the... Jam Jam didn't make it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jam Jam didn't make it. I'm just warning you, Jam Jam's not here, guys. Red Witch Guide of Kelhelm. We just saw her kind of recently, only like once. Medley was Bottas' daughter within the Hidden yep. Four, and it's still just absolutely wild to me that Medley is <laughs> That's in the top weird. Wong was Yura's brother, or at least sorry. the body of Yura's brother that yep. was taken over by the spirit of yep. the big breeder. And of course, Huang went in Yura's brother's body counts and Huang Here, within the, the big breeder body also counts because it's still the same character. I'm sorry, Jam Jam fans. Body. I'm with Pedro you. Pedro was the conductor of the train who was not around anymore after being defeated by Yuri. Mask Girl was a member. I think she's called Gunner Girl actually in the Bro. in the wiki, but I always called her Mask this Girl. This character, I don't think she had, maybe she had one or two lines? Maybe? She has to be the only character on this list that doesn't have a name. She's an unnamed character. She's, okay, guys, an unnamed character is higher ranked than freaking Hell Joe and El Pathion and Ari Bright Sharon and Dang Dang. Holy so in frick. My notes, she's an unnamed member of Aka Williams' team, and it's just nuts that she's here. Oh, Haku did top 10 post hiatus at the end? Yo, that's gonna be that's gonna be sick. Oh my god, wait, Lilial. Wait, I wanna guess for that one. I actually wanna guess for that one, because I think I can get it. I think I can get top 10 post hiatus. There through Revolution Road. She's there when we get into the August. Train, thank you for the membership. Go into Dollar Show, a part of the big group fight against Anna, where she's summoning the rabbit, and there's like the melting acid stuff yeah. being poured and all of that. Uh, I actually love that scene when 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 uh, they're fighting Anna because Akka, the Giga Chad. We always talk about like okay, Yurik and Cha and and Robodon and like sure, but bro, Akka is such a beast. Akka tanked all the freaking lava while protecting his teammates. I love Akka EO so EO was much, one bro. of the MCs of the workshop battle. EO is here, but Punk is not. Uh, Sunwoo Nade <laughs> is a member of Bomb's original season one team. Let's the go. The ring. She has me in bar and Dina. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm, dude, SIU put Mr. Chopin in a recent chapter. I don't think you guys are hearing me right. SIU put Mr. Chopin in a recent chapter. Anything is possible, bro. Nare's coming back. Sunwoo Nade is a part of that. She was the first anima that, well, the first regular anima yeah. that we really saw. So she was kind of like her introduction to anima. Yeah. Next is actually another pretty large tie. I feel like there aren't as many large ties as there were. The Whoa! Whoa! Yo, Serpent Master, shout the freak out! I didn't even mention him because I was like, "There's no way." But now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm thinking about it, anytime you see his snakes, it counts. Like, there are some chapters where you just see the snakes, like, surrounding the hotel. That counts. Whoa! Shout the freak out, Serpent Master. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I'm happy for my boy. Okay, a lot of these... I don't like that Gato has more than Jordan. But okay, we have... Okay, yeah, yeah. Yule, Yule being up there. 
makes it makes sense it makes sense honestly not that surprising aside from serpent master freaking sweet fish i guess that's technically kind of an unnamed character that made it up here the freaking sweet fish hidden floor was a long arc look at data jihad look at Batis. damn michael shout out michael and Hong Shunhua. Wow, man. That's crazy. First time around, especially, of course, as Surfing we get into the master. higher ranks where they're going to have higher chapter My counts. My boy. It's going to be easier to distinguish them from one another. Uh, but there are a couple. These two right here at the bottom are the only real significant large ties, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, in 89th place, these six characters, you got Lopobia Yul, who is, again, new to the list. Not really new to the past 100 chapters, but didn't make it into the top 100 last time. Shout uh, out Yul. He actually, Zelda, he is, actually you know, rose in the ranks. The I'm impressed. Siblings, but she got a bunch of other souls. I'm so impressed. Away, which kind of changed her a bit. She's actually dropping five positions down from last time. There is the Ooh. sweet fish who is the firefish that Kuhn has now. And this is another one where I got to specify some rules. Anytime Kuhn uses fire powers, that doesn't count. It'll okay, okay, okay. I was, I was going to say that that feels like it wouldn't count. Nice, nice. Cool. Actual, Aku's got it like, down. Fish itself. Uh, the sweet he fish calls him sweet fish. Up, up That's two fair. spots from last time. Uh, there's Verdi in 89th place. What? Verdi was a member of Team Shibisu. We haven't really seen her in a while. It rose in the past the last time 50? we saw Verdi was last station maybe it, we saw either vespa or verdi last station i don't remember which one it was i think it we did see one of them i think it was vespa it was verdi uh, Mike <laughs> that's a clip <laughs> i think it was i think it was very well okay well, of course a <laughs> maybe of you're right team. last we saw michael i believe michael was part of the group that escaped from the cage yeah he's probably one of the people in yep. cloaks that's following rachel around yeah, uh, Apple Hong got Chun captured, one though. Uh, Freaking Apple. Verdi, Michael, and Hong chun -wa. Also, all three of them dropped nine spots, so I guess they were in 80th last time. Uh, Hong chun -wa was a member, again. My the, boy! Uh, one who wielded an My Kobe. boy, he dude! He took for him a fisherman that was part of Bomb's team. It was Verdi? I gotta see that again. The anime did to him. The anime oh robbed Hong chun -wa. So if he comes back in the manhwa... Please bring him back. Dude, okay, not to cut Haku off here. Uh, it's just, it, you... Haku knows it gets me freaking fired up. They did him so freaking dirty. For people who don't know, I'll keep it very, very brief. They replaced him with Concho. Concho passed instead of Shunwa. You know, and Dorsey beats him up, and Concho passes instead. I guess it was their way of being like, well, and Dorsey beat him up, so his penalty for. And then Nerei's like crying over his sword, but he passes, and Levin! Levin up! I'm, don't that. get me started. Uh, but yeah, he was part of the group that got the rings at the end of season one, and we just never saw him again. This the is rings. The oh, that's another thing that's not in the anime. Big surprise here. 87th place is a tie between my Jordan boy, and the Serpent Master. Serpent and Jordan Master. is actually dropping 12 spots. But the Serpent Master <gasps> no, is new, Jordan. not just in the top 100, but was introduced with less than 50 chapters ago and is already Sag. in 87th place. That is just a crazy amount. Uh, really happy for him, though, because I really personally like I agree, Pyro. A lot. I agree. I never thought that I would, but I really came to like the character a lot. Jordan, of course, if you don't remember, was one if of If you don't remember Jordan, you're not a true fan. ranking members. Jordan's the, the best. Group who then got taken captive by Yisracha and was freed during the events of the nest. But we haven't really seen too much He's of He's blind, man. Season it's three. actually then, of course, sad. We have an, a three-way tie for 84 <laughs> between Gato, Batis, and Data Zahard. I like Batis. And... I don't care what anyone says. I like Batis. I th actually think his story was well done. I Not perfect, but well done. You know, it, he was supposed to be our, our human rep uh, representative within the data floor. Who, who was purely AI and made us feel like these AI people were people. I like Bodice a lot. Just throwing that out there. They are all dropping 13 places because they were all tied for 71st. That's last the time. thing. They had Concho pass only to get eaten by the bull. But then he's alive at the end and he passes anyway. I actually, I was like, yo, Concho got eaten by the bull. That's actually cool. And then he's just fine. He passes at the end. I don't get what they're. They literally... I don't... And so Gato, of course, hopefully it's recent enough that you remember, was like Yama's right-hand man, but he was a traitor, a horrible father, and honestly, not that great. I agree, character. Azura, I, I agree. I don't think he got any votes in the popularity poll. Uh, Gato, not a very well-liked guy. <laughs> Freak you, Gato! I Loser! I feel so weird stupid, that they have the same amount of Stupid, stupid, Gato! Important. That is a hard I'll flip felt. you off with my pencil. Uh, but it's actually kind of interesting that Bottas had more screen time in the hidden floor than Dad as a Hard did, but they end up tied because we saw a little bit of Dad as a Hard as what? a hint, just a little treat before we got to Hidden Floor. And then in 82nd place. Wow, that's Hadera. so cool. Oh, wow. I, dude, I love that these season one characters are still alive. 
I love it, man. They're still alive. They're fighting through the tower, bro. This is my own version of Tower of God where they're fighting to stay in the top 100. Dude, Levin's still here. Ho is still here. Serena is still here. That is awesome, bro. That's so freaking cool that they're still in the top 80. By the way, top 100 Tower of God character got freaking killed basically by Lero Row in episode 3 of the anime. Ugh, sorry. Okay. Um, shout out to Mule Love. Shilio. Okay, Shilio probably definitely rose, but she's still... She's not nearly as... Like, Lilio's screen time is going to be pretty high. I, I have a feeling it'll be, like, around 50-something now, which is pretty high. Maybe higher than 50-something? Um, we have Data Edwan. Data Edwan. Oh, my God. Again, these char these characters who were just in one arc. Chonghi, Baragov, Kel Halam! Kel Halam! Shout out! That's awesome! So Freaking Madarako! Get the frick out of here! 13 spots. Madarako is a very odd one. No matter how many times I look at it, I'm just like, I know the notes are wrong. Chonghi, shout out! He showed up that many times. He was in Workshop Battle, but it's not like he really did it much. It is he weird to think about, because, like, of season two, Madarako, not, okay, I keep cutting off Haku, but Haku's, yeah. Like, like, Madarako is, is a character who, like, you, you remember him. But if you told me he was in, like, I don't know, however many it was, right? If you told me Madaraka was in, like, 30-plus chapters, or what, 25-plus chapters, I wouldn't believe you, man. But again, that's right at the end. He kind of ran around a lot during the cage, and I guess that's where most of it comes from. Hmm. But it feels very odd that Madaraka was this high up here. Levin, once again, one of Bomb's teammates that got the rings at the end of season that's one. That's my boy, oh, dude. I believe he was. He's coming back. Raccoon and Rachel's <laughs> class. But uh, the that's anime, my boy. I talked about doing Hong chun -wa dirty before did Levin even dirtier just taking That's him out I'm right saying. at the beginning of the season and uh it was very very unfair uh 79th place is a three-way tie between Lokobia, Shilio Zahard, Mule Love, and Akri Young and Shilio Shout is actually ghost. new to the top 100 she wasn't in the top 100 last time Mule Love Sh went up wait 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 I gotta go back wait really quick Shilio was not even in the top 100 that's awesome. She deserves it. Okay. The top 100. She wasn't in the top 100 last time. Listen to this. Mule Love went up 21 spaces. He was in 100th place last time. Now in 79th place. That's my boy, dude. Praise Love. That's so sick. Because he had that whole segment with Sicarius. Love was. He actually had a few things to do in the nest, which was really cool. And Akriyung is uh, so cool. somebody who went down four spaces. So Akriyung, also known as Ghost, has been around since season one, showed up a bit here and there in season three. Part of, like, Revolution, part of the group chat, it would seem. Uh, you've got <laughs> Mule Love, who was there at the 20th. Part floor, of the group the chat, of season my boy. Two. Excited to see him soon in the anime when we get to season two. Hell yeah. Uh, that might date this video for those of you watching this years later. Uh, true, true. In addition to that, Shilial, you should probably know if you're reading currently, first showed up in Name Hunt. That's right. Then in 76, although with this three-way tie, this time it's Dadakuna. Really quick, one cool thing about the anime, they actually showed Shilial and Lilial in season one briefly when they showed all the princesses, which was super cool. In Name Hunt. Then in 76, we have yet another three-way tie. This time it's Dadakun Edwan, Ho, and Serena Rinnan. Ho and so Serena cool, Rinnan, both man. season one Dude. characters that were kind of important in season one. Kind of cool that they're both tied with or with each other. Yeah. And Datacoon Hedwan, again, was in Hidden Floor. Should be a pretty obvious one. Let's see. How much did they move? They all three were tied last time, too, as well. They all went down 12 spaces. And the crazy thing uh, is, they're in... never going to not be tied. Because we're... I actually think Serena's story was perfectly handled. I think Ho's was really well handled. You know, I, I think they served their purpose in Season 1, Data Edwan. These three characters, we're never seeing them again. We maybe... Here's... I've always imagined near the end of Tower of God, we might get a Serena cameo. You know what I mean? We might get like a, like we get the the credits are rolling and we see what every character is up to, can, assuming everybody survived. Maybe she's like running a shop or something. You know what I mean? But then again, it will be like a few, at least a few hundred years later, probably. I don't know. That would be really cool. 74th, we have Varagarf tied with Kel Halam. Kel Halam, again, you should know if you're reading currently, is one of the FUG elders. That's right. Varagarf is the Shout first out. mad dog of Yama that we got to see. Yep. And each of them... So Kel Halam is the one that I said was shocking that didn't change places. Kel Halam was in 74th last time. All of these <laughs> are dropping like 12, 13 spaces. Yo! Maintained it. He held in there. What a Chad! Kel Halam crossed his arms. Planted his feet and said, I'm not moving. What a freaking Chad. He is still 74th. Varagarv, however, dropped 11 spaces from last Ooh. time. Then at the top of this Ooh. grouping, we have Hachon. He at uh, 73rd she place. Rose. Hachon, he has gone up nine spaces. Yeah. Again, if you don't I'm remember, he's of her. kind of 
Kalavan's right hand woman in a way. Yeah, we yeah. see her with Kalavan more than pretty much anyone in seventy four. Especially place, since it used to be Alpathion, but now he's dead. Okay, um interesting. So Gustang also nice. Uh he definitely rose. Okay. Look at this. Yurik Mazino at 65. Look at Amigo Chaz. I can't believe he's still up here. Uh Chang, don't I'm not gonna start. Don't want Moon Tari. Hell Train. If you think of Revolution Road plus Dollar Show, you guys are right. That was a long arc. That was a long arc. I can't believe he's this high. We haven't even gotten to Akka and Daniel. Bro. God, I love Dollar Show. Okay, we have Vicente. That makes a lot of sense. He had a lot more appearances recently. Freaking Paracool still being around. Doan. Yeah, a lot of these characters are rising. Gustang, for sure. Because I think Gustang... I think he was in, like, the 80s before. So Gustang's rising. Gustang, step aside. Gustang's on his way to the top, dude. That's my that's my boy. By between Ron May and Arya... Arya as a character who wasn't in the top 100 last time had barely been introduced. Really? In the chapter 500. I guess that but makes sense, actually. First place, which is, Wait. I don't know, another... Not yeah, that makes perfect sense. Wait, does it? Wait, I'm confused. Because this is since... Oh, I see. It makes sense. It's a really weird one. It, it feels sense. like we've seen a lot of Arya, but then if you ask like what she's yeah. actually done... It makes sense. I kind of... Like, I don't want to hate on her. I don't hate Arya, but <laughs> I also think... Huh, it's weird. She hasn't really done a ton. It's weird Ron that May she's around. The regular who regular who first showed up hanging out with Anak and Androsi. <laughs> of course, Pericul and Yurik tie. God damn. Dawn feels low. I would agree. However, if you think about it, she only started appearing post hiatus um recent somewhat recently with the Robodon stuff. But Cha was around quite a lot with all the bomb stuff. Team Team Shibisu, and then was part of Team Mad Dog, and kind of just follows around Varagarf, but has a little bit more screen time than Varagarf because of her time away from him. That makes sense. Then in 69th yeah. place, actually, sorry, I forgot to mention, she is down 10 spaces. Uh, 69th Ooh. place, we have Poe Badal Gastan. She's out of here who soon. Was not in the top 100 last time, so. Gaston Wait, really? Gustang was not in the top 100. Whoa. Wait, that is actually so impressive. Gustang went from not even being in the top 100. Wait, how high is Traumerai going to be? Whoa, wait, this changed, this like opened my mind. His new Whoa. Is Zahar, who is actually up six places from Shout last out time, last time she was in fifth. So yeah, nice. Shenny and Gaston here, you should probably know who they are. Uh, 68th place is Alexei Absolutely. Amigo Chaz and... Though Amigo Chaz is a background heavy character, yep. we've seen quite a lot of him. Amigo Chaz was around a lot. He's around. In season one, He's was around. Again, one of Bomb's teammates who got the rings. He returned then in season two as part of Team Shibisu. To the danger zone? You almost got me. You almost got me with that one. We're going to move on. He did a little bit in the workshop battle and hasn't done much overtly since then. We see him a bit in the background with Team Shibisu oh, after okay. that, I just thought of uh, including the at 10. the beginning of season three when we learn about Rack and Shibisu and Hatsu right. and Lorei and all being led by Evan to go find Wu Yian. Amigo Chaz is there. He's there. The like frozen slab of ice. He's carrying Kun. So Amigo Chaz is part of that. We just recently saw him with Traveler and Anak and Andrasi. So again, yeah, that makes sense. Been here and there. Muntari in 65th plate. Sorry, I forgot to mention. I keep forgetting to mention how far they've dropped. It's all good. Alexei Amigo Chaz has dropped eight spaces from last time. That's uh, that makes next sense. we have a three-way tie for 65th between Muntari, Yurik Mazano, and Pericule. Nice. And Muntari and per or Pericule were actually tied last time and have both dropped nine spaces. Oh, but that makes sense sense because neither of them right oh a lot of these characters are just going to be forever tied he's dead and pericule might as well be dead sorry guys <laughs> but yudok mazano even though he's been around a little bit he still dropped he only dropped three spaces as opposed to the other two dropping nine but he still dropped a little bit all right you should know that's Yudic. okay you should probably know pericule he was early season two yeah. and season one. I like how Haku's like, all right, I'm going to explain, like, you know, we have, like, Chon Hee Ha, we have all these characters. And then for Pericule, he's like, you, you know, you know Pericule, like, come on. Comedy relief character, revolution. And revolution. more than comedy relief, because some of his revolution stuff was really important to the workshop battle. Yeah, but it Muntari changed a lot. member of Akka's team, who was somebody who could use reverse flow control, kind of embarrassed. To That's so badass, guys. Think about it. Muntari was the only other regular, is to this day, the only regular who's ever used reverse flow control aside from Bomb. That's so cool. Love it.
member of Akka's team who was somebody who could use reverse flow control, kind okay. of embarrassed Ron a little bit during Revolution Road. Then during Dollar Show, he was actually part of Team Bomb, where the characters were split into different teams, and one of the teams was Bomb, Muntari, and Hanul Kang. So yep. Muntari was there for part of that, where he died to Welser Elliott. Uh, then 63rd place, you've got Cheng Blarod and Arie Vicente, and they have Chang. moved quite a bit. Vicente might be it's one of the boy. biggest movements on the list. Really? Actually, surprisingly, surprisingly. Really? Even though we've seen a little bit of him, to me it's still surprising. Yeah. So Cheng has dropped seven places. but he, He'll be back. He'll be back. He, he's going to rise. He's going to rise. Arie Vicente has gone up 37 places. He and Mule Love were tied at 100 last time. Mule Love went all the way up to, what was he, 79? And, er, and Vicente has gone all the way up to 63, which is... Whoa! I know he's made appearances. I know he's been around, but that's super impressive. Just Damn. An insane, insane jump. That's Vicente crazy. One of the siblings that became white and wow. now the main personality. He's still being held on Gaston's floating castle, I guess. Then yeah. Chandler Road was there all throughout season two. We all know, two, Chang. We all know who Chang and is. And then we got the reveal <laughs> hey. that he was working for Paul. And then it seemed it's like he died, character. but he can't have possibly died because Doom met him and talked to him. So in order for Doom to... Oh, have... did you guys hear that? Wait, continue, Haku. You're preaching. Done that. He had to have survived and been alive, but that was just really brushed off in a really small uh -huh, way. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. should... Okay. Just want to point that out, guys. Just, you know, throwing that out there. It's literally impossible for Chang to be dead. Okay, cool. Joe's up again. A lot Literally. of people are probably going to be really confused. Like, didn't that guy die? Yeah. But apparently yeah. he didn't. In 62nd place, we've got Dewan. And Dewan's another one who made a little bit of a jump. She is up 13 spaces. That's actually more than a little bit of a jump. Dewan's up 13 spaces from last time. And again, Sick. you should know who Dewan is. I Shout should out also mention that the only thing... Oh. things I actually have written down because I, I keep looked. glancing over at my notes or how much the characters went up or down. Anything else about who they are or how the screen time works or totally like that cuff. is just extemporaneous. All right. Ooh, look at... The, oh, guys, it's, it's actually not... Co it's actually not Kofi. Like, it's... It's literally... It's literally... Impo like, actually... You guys, when it happens, I can't wait to see your faces. I cannot wait, dude. It's gonna be glorious. Okay. We have Data Han Sung. So... Dude, this data character is almost in the top 50. What a chad, bro. Okay, we have Reflejo. Sick. We have Ren. Ren, yeah. Okay. I do feel like Ren's spot makes sense. Because if you think about it as chapter number, you know, specifically. <laughs> Look at Paul. How is Paul ahead of freaking Ren? Elaine at 54. That's actually not bad, guys. And Lilial. Okay, I actually called it in the 50s. That actually, that makes sense. Considering what? Lilial must have been... Was she even in the top 100 last time? If she was, she was super low. Interesting. Elaine and Lilial tying? That is such poetic justice for the El Baba storyline. Oh my god, I love it. That's so great. Poro, Poe, and Vespa as well. Cha is quite high. Quant as well. And then Gosang. Wow, dude! This is weird, though, because now I'm like, okay, the top 50 are going to be, like, main characters. Because we still haven't seen, like, even Lei Ro Ro, right? We haven't even seen Lei Ro Ro yet. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of characters we haven't seen yet. And we're going to be, like, really there in the top 50? Let's go. Yes, I'm just going off the top of my head. So if anything's screwy, that's why. Uh, 59th place, another three-way tie, this time between Daddy Yu Sung, Reflejo, and Lopobia Ren. Daddy Yu uh, Sung. Daddy Yu Sung went down five spaces, so did Reflejo, and Lopobia oh, Ren okay, actually Haku. went up 16 spaces. Wow! So a character that 16? Know, that's, not one. that's not and bad! That's not bad! like I said, his Ren stocks are rising! Like, maybe doesn't accurately reflect... Dude, you know what would be so funny? You know how there's like fantasy football where you like draft football players on your like online team and how well they do in real life gives you like points. Imagine we had like a Tower of God like fantasy team where you draft characters and the more chapters they appear. Like obviously it would be weird. You have, you'd have to get rewarded for like weird weirder picks, you know? But like that would be that'd be hilarious. The Ren stocks are rising, bro. As much how dense his appearances were. Reflejo was a character who was part of Team FUG yep. and then served as 
I can't wait to see Reflejo in the anime. For the workshop battle, Daddy Yuan Sung is clearly Daddy Yuan Sung. Yep. In 58th place is the biggest who, the forgotten Baylord brother, Baylord Ball, who has actually <laughs> dropped five spaces Ugh. from last time, but even being 58th is impressive still because Bomb is, er, Bomb, because Baylord Ball is very, very, very forgotten. He is left out of all of this stuff that's gone on with Yasracha and Yama and Doom's been there. A lot of this flashback stuff. Yep. Paul has just not been here for it. He fought the Windbird back at the beginning of the it's so sad bro it's actually so sad that paul it's weird right because like yeah we can all joke about paul not being there it's just that they don't even address it like there's no off-headed comment about doom being like okay paul's with the others you know what i mean it's like he doesn't even exist the last time his name was mentioned was when Traumarai named him in a flashback. Oh my god. A little woozy, and we have not seen And yes, Traumarai named Paul. Let that sink in. ...since then. So, uh, Paul is one of the most extremely forgotten characters, I feel like, here. In 54th place, we actually have a four-way... <laughs> Chopin payouts are insane! Let's go. Yeah, this one's kind of large. <laughs> Between Lopobia, Elaine, who you should know... And who has gone <laughs> up or down? She went up five spaces, which feels weird because it feels like we haven't seen enough of her. But she went up five spaces in the okay. last one hundred. Elaine Rose, guys, that's great. Holy crap! Lily is a hard. Here we go. Wasn't this is the second largest jump for oh. somebody who wasn't in the top one hundred last? Second largest. <gasps> Traumarai. Oh shoot! Traumarai is gonna be the biggest jump. Right. That's that's. It has to be Traumarai. Wow, Traumarai is going to be the biggest jump. That's crazy. Last time, Lilial wasn't in the top 100 last time and is all the way in 54th. Uh, That's Porto crazy. Po is in 54th, and so is Vespa. They were tied, I think, for 48th last time, so they're Makes both sense. six spots down. Okay. Uh, Porto Po was... Cha stocks are rising. Uh, kind of semi-conductor. He was working for Pedro at first. Yep. He was there for all of the flashbacks with Team Boro and everything. I like Poro po. He was the MC for the dollar show. I don't show. think Poro Po got a single vote on the character popularity poll, Sedge. After Yuri takes down Pedro, he takes over as the uh, conductor, the, the driver, the dugong, whatever, or go. the hell train. So we see him a lot just at various points piloting the hell train or whatever. Yep. And then a bit at the last station. Yeah. So it feels weird He's there at last station. The vibes just, I, I look at Poropo and I'm like, did we see him that much? But apparently we did. It it makes logical sense, I guess, when you think about how long Hell Train was, but it's still weird. It's still a weird one. It is weird. And Vespa, of course, is a member of Team Shibisu that we usually see when we see Team Shibisu. Yep. Uh, then we have 50 seconds. Let's place go, Cha! Cha how much has he risen? Woods. Let's hear and it. Cha has gone up 28 spots. That's my Cha boy! Uh, the Let's all the rise for Cha! grown a lot in the screen time and then quant blitz what a check i love that man dropped five spaces god i love that this man. is one where some uh questionability comes in with his screen time because i mentioned it last time that for quant if we see this guy uh, on a billboard, i'm counting it if we see him true. on a vending machine I i'm counting it that. so quant all of his product Let's placement go. counts uh so we have quant dude the fact that quant is this high because he's in a bunch of ads is the best it's the best thing because it like it makes sense canonically like cha on a billboard if we saw elaine on a billboard we'd count that right the fact that quant just appears randomly on potato chip bags is the best cha there i did mention how up or how much they went up and down uh and then 51st place just outside of dropping out of the top 50 is yo go saying who is a yeah. member of team sweet and sour team tang su yuk and it's kind of a bummer that somebody from Sweet and Sour is dropping out of the top 50. She's gone down seven spots from That's last. That's true. Oh, wow. All eight members of Sweet and Sour were in the top 50 before. Ooh. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. Ah. You're still in the top 100, Go saying. You're still, you're still doing good. It's time. So, from here on out, we're getting into our top 50, and there should be... Ooh, top you know, 50, guys! Left. Top 50! I'm excited. Ties from here on for less and ties. 49th is wow! Wow! Okay, Traumarai, he scooted in. He's the number one. He's the number one. Shout the frick out, Traumarai. That's so weird. I mean, it makes sense that he's this high, but it's it's weird because Gustang was introduced way sooner, and yet Traumarai completely outpaces him in screen time. Emily, of course, dude. Aka Williams. Daniel's not even here yet. That's crazy. Sim Swordsman, Quattro. Quattro, that's crazy. Leira Ro, Hanul Kong. I can't wait to see what Hawkins says about Hanul Kong. Angel and then Kalavan. We haven't even gotten to Buelsar Elliot, have we?
Lopobia Traumare, who I just mentioned, Liliol being the second biggest jump for somebody that wasn't in the top 100. Traumare, I think, had only been in two chapters as of chapter wow. 500. And in wow. the past 100 chapters, he's gone all the way up from only being in two chapters. He was in two being before. In the top 50. So 49 Legend. is Traumare tied with Emily. And for Emily, it's another one that I think people will question. So if somebody's just texting with Emily, like the recent thing that uh, maybe we saw with um, Gorudo, it doesn't count unless we see the physical body that was kept like the physical body that we saw at the workshop battle oh. even though that was kind of just imagined or fake or whatever but like the physical emily or if we see the, the actual icon emily icon right a okay with okay if we see the actual icon of emily then it counts the phone just seeing the phone doesn't count that makes sense if it's just a questionable texting it doesn't it has to right really 35 is the most surprising guys haku haku says 35 is the most shocking all right oh i'm Shocking in which way? I'm curious. Specifically, blatantly be Emily to count. And even then, Emily already makes it into the top 50 with those rules in place. Uh, Emily dropped five spots from last time. Then in 48th place, there is Aka Williams. Aka Williams was a member of Team Boro. He then formed his own team. He was there throughout a lot of the early Hell Train from Revolution Road, through all of the stuff that led up to Dollar Show, through Dollar Show, and then yeah. sort of dropped out of the story after Dollar Show. And yep. Again, that, that doesn't Aka seem had a great like that large a chunk of time. It's right. probably a good 50-some, 60-some chapters, maybe even more. I love the way that SIU handled Akka and Daniel leaving. Because it felt like their characters served their purpose. They were badass when they were there, and they didn't need to be there anymore. It was perfect. But Akka was just in almost every single chapter, doing things as part of the team, having fights and stuff in that sort of span of time to make it here. And Akka has gone down five You think it's Yuri? Six. I don't know. Uh, Yuri? Place, I don't Han think so. Zanla, who was the swordsman who was following around... Um, who is following around Ha Yura. He has another of the seven sacred swords oh, or seven sacred swords or whatever. Just <laughs> there like he is. Chun Wa has. And he and Yi Wa got separated from the team at the name hunt station yep. and then got captured by Yul and Kel. And I don't know what CU's cooking with them. I don't know what CU's doing. Because even recently, <laughs> even sometime more recently, believe, Bam was, Bam believe, and stay Dan strong. And we still, we haven't seen stay these guys. Stay strong. We do not know what's happening with Yi Wa. SIU is such a patient writer. Such a patient writer. It's going to happen, I believe. Now, Dan Wa has dropped six faces. Uh, in 45th place, we have a tie between Leroro and Quietro Blitz. His soda or burger, Ro -Ro. which got He's replaced well. by, uh, by an imposter here. Uh, Leroro has gone down five spaces, whereas Quietro yeah. has gone down four spaces. Makes because sense. Because Quietro did have a little bit of time, like like a couple cameos, again, like when Doom mentions him and Jang. Um, oh, real? Sorry, that was aggressive. I just get passionate about the free... Never mind. So we do have Quietro and Leto right there. <laughs> I'm, not I'm actually interested to I've see how my Quietro piece. is portrayed in the anime with season two coming up. Hopefully, <laughs> right. like, hopefully we don't have some season one stuff going on and just gets dropped out of the story. But uh, with the way that the mobile right. games really upped the uh, the femboyification. Of yeah, Quattro. dude, Quietro in New World is one of the best, like, manhwa to video game adaptations ever. It's Bro, sick. I'm interested to see the portrayal that Quietro gets. Yeah. In um, so I can't wait. Them, I did mention how far they went down. So 43rd place is a tie now between Hanul Kong and Angela Ragwell. And okay. again, you should probably remember Lerodo and Quietro. Quietro was around Chang all the time and has been in what's, the story What's Haku going to say about Hanul? to the 45th place. But I say that as if people are going to remember Hanul Kong. Yeah, my, poor, my keyboard's fine. Angel my Ragwell, keyboard's fine. <laughs> the angel that was with Blosser Elliot. through worse. Her and Elliot were then captured by Chang. And then Chang gave them to Paul because Paul needed the information of where the cage was. Yeah. To try to find yeah. Yama, to try to do the whole invasion oh, yeah. free doom thing that we saw during the cage arc so angel slash rockwell and uh that's so weird to think about that when chang and quattro took the bodies of uh, you know took angel and Buelsar into the white heavenly mirror it was so that chang could deliver them to paul that's weird like canonically when that happens in dollar show it's so that Chang can deliver them to Paul. Like, think about that for a minute. Like, I don't know if SIU had Paul in mind then, right? But just canonically, that is what was happening. Well, Sorelia, I love it. The information was taken from them either by Chang himself or by handing them over to Paul, and Paul got the information. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't seen them since, so we don't know what's going on with them. And then Hanul Kong was Let's first introduced as That's one my of the boy. regulars that was being guided Hanul by Boro. Kong. Because Boro would take on students and take them up the hell train. So he was being guided by Boro. We found bro. out that he was a doctor. He stayed with Team Bomb throughout uh, Revolution. I agree, Hawk. It's then the crazy. I say he was crazy. 
the dollar show so cool. and in the dollar show like i mentioned before the team for the dollar show was bomb uh muntari and hanul khan <laughs> dude, dude when the anime gets there we're gonna be like oh my god who is our team in dollar show it's bomb muntari and hanul khan I love it. Tari so got cool. killed along the way. And then after Dollar yeah. Show, Hanul Khan, because he was a doctor, stayed back to take care of the people who yeah. were injured during that arc. And honestly... God, he's a legend. Sorry. I'll stop pausing. Hey, Rachel's got Michael on her team. This is not She's a popularity a poll. It's a screen is, time poll. Is there any Top chance screen time characters. when we see Boro and Sachi again, would they have their old teammates? Would they have Akka That'd or be so cool. Daniel with them if we see them again? Would That'd they be have so people cool. like Hanul Khan or Yuhana? Who knows? But that's who Hanul Khan... Venti killed in what are you huh what are you talking about that that's a weird inclusion but okay um he and angel slash rogwell have both dropped five spaces they were tied last time then in 42nd place we've got kalavan kalavan breaking into the top 50 this time around by going up nine spaces you should probably know who he is let's Moving go kalavan okay wow you guys are pretty spot on doom at 35 oh interesting doom at 30 that's kind of crazy i i'm not that shocked though i actually think that makes sense it it is it is weird if you think about it as in like what is doom done but every almost every time we saw yama for for that whole stretch of time doom was there too and we saw a lot of yama we saw a lot of yama but if you think about it as like wait we, we've seen more doom than yasracha wait we've seen more we've seen more doom than freaking kalavan then you're like, huh? But no. Honestly, I I can see just be just because again, it's like it's like he he's like attached to Yama, you know, for for a lot of the story. I I'm impressed though. I'm impressed. Shout out Doom. He deserves it. We got Evan Kell. We got Elliot. We got Dan. The fact that Elliot is that high too. Now nah, I'm proud of Dan. I love Dan. Dan's the freaking best. Haku will explain. Haku will explain who these people are. Yes, Racha, Daniel. Freaking Daniel. That's wild. Shia, Shia, Doom, Lara, Beta, Horyang, and Jinsung. Wow. This is our last tie before there's one more in the next group. And Shia, Shia. That, that's somewhat uh, shocking. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Evan Kell, Bolser Elliot, and Ed and Dan. I just mentioned Bolser Elliot. What's up, Hannah? One of the Mad Dogs of Yama. Everything that happened with him. One of the Mad Dogs. Even to Paul, and we haven't seen him yep. since. So who knows what's yep. going on there. Ed and Dan, of course, was a member of Team Kuhn that ended up as a member of Team Novik. God, I love and Dan. And hopefully whenever we see Team Novik ad er, again, then we will see more of Dan. And Evan Kell, of course, you should likely know. Evan Kell. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. You're saying, I'm just assuming they killed Chang. Why did they not kill Angel and Elliot? Oh, maybe. I, when you said Venti, I thought you said, I thought you meant Verdi in my head. And I was like, did Verdi take them as puppets? I was so confused. I see what you're saying. Has gone up five spaces from last time. Bosser Elliot and Ed and Dan have both gone down three spaces. Then we yep. have Lopobia yep. Yasracha, who I forgot to mention before even getting into this. I wanted to say Legend. that the most surprising space on this entire list to me, I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit. It's pretty The funny. most surprising <laughs> in the entire list to me was 35, but we'll get there. So We're almost there. We're almost, I want to see what Hockey says. Yasracha, who has gone up. Uh, 26 spaces, which makes sense. But sadly, uh, the frog may be alive, but the cat is not. <gasps> That's, so... Dude, it's weird to think about. He's dead. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, he actually died. Yeah. Yisra Ooh. Yisracha stocks. They're falling. I'm sorry, guys. Yisracha stocks. Have... He's never going to be at a higher place than he is right now. Sad. We likely won't be seeing too much more, uh, aside from flashbacks, potentially. In 37th place, 31's pretty high for Jin Sung, though. Boro, member of Team Rachel. Because he's was not... around for a ton and was really, He definitely really rose. He definitely rose. Train. So 37th place is Daniel. Uh, yep. Daniel has actually gone down three spaces. I'm impressed by Daniel. Zha -Zha. Zha -Zha, or Shasha has gone down. Okay. Three spaces this time. I believe in Shasha. Place, We're going to see more of her. She was a member of Team FUG. She, she became a member of Team Novik. Again, has been around for a lot of arcs and has played yep. a role in a lot of different yep. chunks of the storyline. Uh, in 35th place, the most surprising to me is Baylor Doom. Yeah, Baylor, Baylor Doom. Doom. Baylor Look at this dude. In the entire series <laughs> just being introduced in season three is That's crazy. true. I, because Doom. he's not like a major. Like when you think of like, oh, who's your favorite season three character? It's always going to be like, what? Tramurai, Yasracha, Yama. Not many people are going to jump to Doom. He really is kind of a side character, which is weird because we all thought he was going to be the arc villain of the cage, and he definitely wasn't. <laughs> you know, he definitely wasn't. And it is, it, it's like, it's bizarre. It's bizarre, Who you know? Higher than Yusracha is crazy. I did yep. not expect Doom Jin to be will go high. more. Doom went up 17 spots from last time. He was already high up. But Whoa! But he's crazy to me, and he has been around. Whoa! For he hasn't gotten the same That's more than I thought. That Yusracha or Yama has gotten. 
but he's been involved. He's in just there. That's going on there. <laughs> he's just that there, dude. Just a crazy one to be. In 34th place is Fonsecal Luray, part of Bomb's team from the very beginning, then part of Team Shibisu. Yeah. Uh, we recently saw him with the journey to Kota Wunyan at the beginning of Season 3. Yeah. So Fonsecal Luray has been around a bit. He has gone down two spots, though. I'm impressed he's far, still that but... high, though. It makes sense. Because he's another character where it's like, when Endorsey fights the octopus lady, Marte, is that her name? I can't. If I got that right, I can't believe it. Uh, on Namehunt Station... Lauro's just on her back. You know, he's just there. It's, it's, he's always there. He's spots. always there. Beta was kind of an antagonist in the workshop battle, turned good guy later on, and a member of Team Bomb for a while. Like I mentioned before, if We're we just see, see the Beta in the, the anime, has Beta in it, that doesn't count. We have to actually see Beta himself. Except for that, was one, like exception. that one exception. Yeah. Where even though it was yeah. just Beta in the lighthouse, he really had an entire <laughs> scene Kurt. with... Um, or maybe he was physically there. So if so, maybe there isn't any exception for Beta uh, when he had that conversation with Andrasi. Maybe he did show up physically there outside of the lighthouse. But either way, you get my point. That's who Beta is. Beta also, I mentioned, also dropped He's just carried by everyone. Literally uh, carried Hoyang, up the tower. Or Literally. Or Kang Ho Young. Uh, nah, I cannot wait to see Horang in the anime, bro. I cannot wait. Second place. Uh, so yeah, t member of Team Guys, Hong Yang stocks Team rising. Sweet Trust. Tower, Trust. Who got left behind after Trust. the other part of the devil. We saw him sitting up in bed when Wang Nang made it back to him. So whenever we see Wang Nang's team again, very funny to the danger eventually zone. we will ideally be seeing Hor Yang again. Uh, we have Ha Jin Sung in 31st place. And Ha right. Jin Sung is actually also, just like Doom, gone up 17 It's respectable. Spaces. 17. Ha Guys, Sung Jin Sung was at 48 before. Of... Or I don't know if that's how he's doing the jump. I, I don't know how that. Yeah, that would be right. He, he was at 48 before. So Jin Sung, he, he, like, what, 100 chapters ago or whatever? Like, he wasn't even that, that high. Like, he wasn't even in the top... He was barely in the top 50. Now he's almost in the top 30. That's... Jin Sung, he's doing well. Of the end he's of the well. nest, and then a lot of the post-hiatus stuff. And in your top 30, you... Ooh. Oh, yo! Okay. 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 Oh, what? Okay, sorry. I just went... I just experienced, like, every emotion. I saw... Ha I felt happiness seeing Prince still in, at 24, still in the top 30. I felt just a bit of hope, just a slight twinge of disappointment. Yama being at 21 is so impressive. It's just, you know, it'd be cool if he was in the top 20. So impressive. Why is Irure at 22, man? What? What? Why is Irure, Cherry Law, at freaking 22? How is that character the 22nd most <laughs> screen time video? Uh, sorry, my, my words are failing me. 22nd in the most chapters. That is crazy, dude. 29 is Enryu. I love that theory. I love that theory. Oh my god, yeah. Tra I mean, I'm used to Traveler being way up high, but... God, I forgot E today was this high. Shout out to Yama, though. Keep in mind, every other character... From here on out, I think, is a non-season 3 character. Yama is the highest character, I believe, that is was introduced in season 3. So impressive. He's almost in the top 20. So impressive. Start off 30th place with Bero Bero, who has dropped down. Bero Bero! Kind of Let's go! I love, I love Bero Bero. For aligning with... Which Evan, shout out. Rack, uh, becoming a part of Bomb's team. Kind Dude, I, I, one of my favorite moments is when Idude fights Buelsar Elliot. Because I just love side characters in shows like this. And when Idude gets all crazy and, and puts up a fight against Buelsar, Buelsar admits he could have easily killed her. But he, even he is impressed. He's like, damn, where'd this come from? I love that moment. That out a lot of the arcs just hung out on the hell train with Albelda, but still enough time. The hell train was so long that Beto Beto is here. Traveler, shout out 29th. Traveler's gone down two spots. Traveler's a character that <clears throat> actually had some like notable presence in Workshop Battle, yeah. at least at the very beginning, but then was sidelined. We just cut to yeah. occasionally <laughs> some with family stuff with Kasano freeing him. You're a Q, that's right. Jesse having a conversation, she had a with tail. Him. And then so from there, weird. we get into the Hell Train, where he's just kind of around occasionally being like, no, Kasuno, you can't use your powers yet. They're, that's you're not right! Ready. And then oh my god, that's there, weird. We see him captured by Anak and Androsi when they're interrogating him for information on Rachel. That's then we so recently weird. see him again, just cleaning for Anak and Androsi's team. So he's around, and we just randomly see him here and there, but he just rarely does anything of importance for as much as we see him. And he is probably the character with the most 
screen time compared to least popularity according to the popularity <laughs> poll. It's him and Cosmo right there for like least popular for most screen time. And that's then I awesome. guess the opposite of that, they don't have enough screen time to make the top oh, that's 100. Awesome. The most popular for least amount of screen time is like Zahard and Garam. Um, so makes yeah, sense. Traveler, that makes that sense. Traveler dropped two spaces. Novik here also dropped two spaces, part of Team Kuhn. Novik, then shout out! The leader of the spare team, though it seems like Ron kind of takes over a lot of the time. Yeah. The leader of the spare team that is supposed to travel with team bomb i don't know where evan is it's a good question while also hunting for rachel then in 27th there is benjamino cassano who is once again dropping two spaces he is yep. the brother of horyang who was part of team rachel for a while shout out and cassano horyang his half of the devil back he had to learn to share with his brother in 26th place there's evan edrock yuri's guide been there since like chapter two basically yep. And Shut he the freak has out. gone down two spaces as well, dropping out of the top 25. Our last tie is 24th place, a tie between Yu Han Sung and Prince. Yu okay. Han Sung has been around since season one. Yu Han Sung only got to appear I love, once I in the I love that hiatus. Prince is this high. We got to see some Doom, some Dewan, plenty too, of Yanis Anna. Racha. Karaka has done some things. Yu Han Sung vanished off the face of the earth uh, once that group met up with Lobodon. So is he still within That's Karaka's That's true! Little realm? I forgot he was he? even a part of that group! He's a part of that group with Doan and Yama and them. I totally forgot about that. That's uh, weird. So Sung's there. And Karaka? Sung would actually be in 14th place if we counted him and the data Yu Hansung. Wow. Together. Okay. Uh, there okay. is Prince, who is a member of Team Bomb, who is likely not getting too That's much boy, higher dude. up on this list. And is uh, uh, just barely hanging out. Don't say that, Haku. Don't and say Prince that. has gone down two spaces, but Yuan Sung has gone up six spaces since Chapter 500. Wow. And in 23rd place is Kun Ron, who has dropped two spaces like a lot of these have. Uh, again, yeah. member of Team Novik. Can't wait till he gets to Yama. Team, I'm excited. Brother to, like, full brother to Masheni, half brother to Agarho Agnes. Yeah. Um, we have Fonsakal Irure in 22nd place, also dropping two spaces, who was a member of Team Bomb for a while through the Hell Train. And actually... For Irude. Actually, a crazy fact about Irude's screen time yeah? is that Irude is in every single arc of the Hell Train, which is something that not even Andrasi or Rack were, because Rack oh, wasn't in. Oh wow! I remember how he was saying this before, Revolution, or right? tweeting about it, or something. So Irude was around for more of Hell Train than either of them, at least. Are no, so we saw Han Sung go onto the ship and get teleported with them after the immortality thing. We did see that. We know that Han Sung, because Han Sung is the one that operated the warp ship. It's just that after he warped there, it just, they, he stopped showing up. He, he was weird. Like, we saw Doan fighting with them. We saw Karaka. But, like, Han Sung, I don't know. He, like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. He stopped, like, appearing with the group. So, I don't, I don't really know. Um, will this be a long stream? No, we're almost in the top 20. We're going to start the chapter a little bit late. We're almost there. Wise. Uh, in 21st place, almost cracking the top uh, 20 is the kind of secondary main character of season three, Baylor Yama, who has gone That's up my 14 boy. spaces from 35th last time to 21st this time. And I say that Yama That's is great. the secondary protagonist nice. for season three. Kind Respectable. Of does thing, where early season two, whenever we are not focusing on Bomb and seeing the story from around Bomb's perspective, we are seeing things from Wang Nan's perspective and following him as sort of a secondary yep. main character. Yep. And for season three, we get it's, that with Yama. It's whenever true. That's, I, I never thought that would have been the case. Of things, we are with Yama. Whether that's starting off in the cage, whether that's Bomb going to one of the walls while Yama goes to the other wall, whether that's all the focus he gets in the nest compared to Bomb. Yama's a main character, dude. Then, we get he's a Bomb, main character. He gets the focus in the hotel. That's arc, crazy. And then in the interim, Yama gets a lot of the focus with the Gastang Secret Library arc. And yeah. then we kind of just go back to Bomb as we're now heading into the Sprout. So again, Yama. Ah, uh, he was in Karaka's world. Yeah, okay. I forgot. I even forgot about that. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, so we know where he is. We just haven't spent any time with him to figure out what he's thinking and stuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, Haku mentioned earlier. Yeah, so Iterde has a whole weird plot line where Iterde was, like, secretly following Bomb for the sake of fulfilling her family's dream. So weird. I, I don't even want to talk about it too much just because it's a whole rabbit hole, but it's pretty bizarre. I don't even know. It's bizarre. Very, very high I have up there. no and idea if that's going to come up again. I went through the actual chapter it will, counts it will, for it will. all of the top 20. So once again, I will do that. And I will say that you need essentially 100 chapters out of these 600 to get into the top 20. Wow. You actually need to be in 100 chapters to be in the top 20, more or less. Interesting. Do you all remember when season three started and we saw Louis in the very first chapter? And a lot of us were like, 
Season 3 protagonist! Oh my god! And it just turned out to be freaking Louis. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we're in the top 20. My, okay, I have a much better idea now. Characters we haven't seen yet, right? We haven't seen Yuri, we haven't seen, um, we haven't seen, uh, like, Wang Nan, obviously, and Arc Raptor even. We haven't even seen Iwa. We haven't seen Iwa yet. You bet Boro is still, if Boro is still in the top, I actually, I actually think, okay, so let's think about this, right? We actually had the previous top 10 on screen before. I think that Boro's out, Boro's out. And I think, you know who's in? I think Yuri's in. I think Yuri's now in the top 10. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe Boro was just that crazy. We haven't even seen Sachi yet. Or Hockney. Weird. My only prediction, I think Boro's out of the top 10. Joaquin, wait, no, that wouldn't make sense. Joaquin would be, because Joaquin was lower. I think Joaquin and Boro are on the chopping block a little bit for Yuri. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go. In 20th place is Anoxa Hard. No! Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Okay. Okay. Wow. Boro is still in the top freaking 10. Wow, dude. Wow. Wait. So the top 10 is the same. It's just the placements maybe have shifted a little bit. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. So this is pretty similar. Yuri's rising though. I mean, Yuri's, I think by the end of the series, Yuri will be top 10. I think. I think that's pretty safe. Boro is eternal. That's crazy. All right. Dude, the, dude, he was at number 12. Guys, he was at number freaking 12. That's, that's freaking cool. Barely hanging in there. Season one, season one is putting in so much work for an Yeah, that's true. Some of the most screen time in season one. But then after that, a little bit of workshop battle since then only cameos a knock yep. being an anok fan Boros never leaving is hard <laughs> anok has not gotten a lot of respect in the story and it feels it feels almost a shame that anok didn't get to play a part in the hotel arc and moving on from there yeah. it kind of is a shame that we haven't seen more of it that's why i think ren is still alive i think we're gonna get anok versus ren i don't know if that's coping i think way in the future if Ren was the one that killed her mother, which is implied, you could debate that, but it's implied, uh, you know, Anok thinks so. It, I don't know. It's Anok sad. has dropped down two spaces and has been in nine True, Hannah, of true. Chapters true, true, true. God. In 19th place is Ha Yura, who hasn't changed positions. Oh my god, Yura. Last time, I, I didn't even think about Yura. <laughs> she was That's in crazy. 99 chapters of the 600 that are in God. Ah, okay. And in 18th, we have Karaka breaking into the top 20. Karaka makes it to the top 20 by moving up five spaces from last time and has been in 101 chapters of Tower of God. All right, shout out Karaka. In 17th Ooh, a place sixth. has uh, not changed positions. 16 and 17 are the same. Okay. Uh, Honak Raptor and David Hockney haven't changed positions. And uh, they're actually only one apart from each other. Akraptor has been in 103 chapters, and Hockney, or no, Hockney has been in 103 chapters. One Akraptor has been in 104 chapters. Wow, got that backwards. that's and so then, cool. Breaking into the top I 15, love Akraptor. 15th place is Sachi Faker, who has dropped down one spot. He's been in 116 Ooh, chapters. He got defeated because Yuri rose. Yuri, out of all the characters on this screen, Hots had more screen time, and so did uh, Yuri and Karaka and stuff. But like, as far as uh, the ones we haven't gotten to yet, Hots and Yuri were shifting upwards. I think. Probably. Mi Seng, who has been in Makes 124 sense. chapters, has also dropped down one space. 13th or 13th place is Yuri, who was Shout in Mi last time and has gone up two spaces. Let's go up two spaces. Chapters. So all of these really aren't that impossibly far apart, right. depending on who we see next. That's what I'm saying. Do we need a fantasy Tower of God game where we predict? We say like, okay, I'm putting stock in Hockney. I'm telling you, man, Hockney's going to have a role. And if we get more Hockney, you get like some kind of payout. I don't know. It wouldn't be real uh, money. In 12th place is Yian Yiwa, who has dropped one space out of 11th last time and has been in 129 chapters. Again, who knows when we're Yiwa seeing Yiwa fell from again. 11. Uh, and then uh, in 11th is Hatsu, who rise, dropped I one believe. space out of the top 10. Hatsu was 10th last time. He was? Oh, he was! Right! Right! Hots fell out of the top 10! Wait, so Shibisu is in the top 10? Right, Shibisu is in top 10. Joaquin's in top 10. 
I see. That 11, makes sense. And has been in 139 chapters. Shut up, Hots. Tower of God. So now we're getting into the top. All right, 10, here we go. And some of the name choices that I put down here are going to be questionable for some of you, but don't worry. I'll explain them. We, we're going to get the explanation. Joaquin, who was in God freaking. <laughs> Okay, listen, I am the biggest Boro fan. You guys know, there's not a single person on this planet who likes Boro more than me. However, even I am like, why is Boro still in number nine? <laughs> it, it's great, though. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this list makes sense. It's very, very similar to how it was before. It makes a lot of sense. I don't... Man, Rachel's had that many chapters. That's weird. But everything else makes sense. Place last time, again, when he is by himself as Joaquin, he counts... Yeah, he was, was just barely not in the top 10 last so time. So, he was in 12th last time, has moved up to 10th to break into the top wow, 10. Wow, shout out Joaquin! Chapters. Shout out! We have Boro, Joaquin made it in the top 10? In place, who dropped down one, was in 8th last time. And Boro was in 8th?! What the heck? In, in 154 chapters, and then just beating him by one chapter. 155 chapters is Shibi. So wow! Getting he passed him! And, uh, yes. the two positions Let's them. go! And, uh, yeah, so it's Boro, Shibisu. And, and everything else is the same. Jia Wangnan. Yeah. Jia Wangnan has not changed positions. Yeah. He was in 7th last time. And still in 7th. Is, That's uh, my guy, bro. 159 chapters. And then our last That's position my guy. is Rachel and Hua Ryun swapped positions. Last time, Rachel was in 5th. Get absolutely wrecked, Rachel! Oh my god, you suck! You suck so bad! Oh my god, you're not in the top five? Oh, shoot, you're... You're not in the top five, Rachel? Wow! That is so sad. My god, look in the mirror. Fifth and Wabiyun was in sixth. Sorry. And this time, Rachel has dropped out of the top <laughs> five. Rachel in sixth place with 193 chapters. And Wabiyun in... Fifth, the fact that Huaryun beat her. Chapters. Again, those two are really close together. Yeah. Could very easily switch with one another. Huaryun smacked Adrasi, Rachel out of the top Andorthy, five. Slash and Dorothy. Just like and how Rachel smacked her in the comments. She is in fourth place. Hasn't changed with 200, or 229 chapters. Which really <laughs> isn't that impossible for Huaryun and Rachel. <laughs> Mati didn't make it into the top 100. I was pulling for Mati. He didn't make it into the top 100. Said. Catch up to if she spends a couple arcs gone again. And yeah. As for her name, I put in Dorothy here. And honestly, <sighs> it doesn't look wrong. Like oh, I put it down. No. I was arguing. Haku, Haku, stop. Haku, what are you doing, Haku? <laughs> no, I get it. It's probably technically the most accurate way of to say her name, but I don't know. Doing with myself. Do I put Andrasi it's because weird. it's what I'm used to? It's weird. Do I put in Dorsey because it's so an official weird. translation? And I may be it's more so weird. I'm not like really keyed in with <sighs> uh, like scan readers. I don't know if they call her Andrasi. So I'm like, I don't know what more people would recognize her as. But then I'm like is it wrong of me since I use Zahara? That's crazy, I Aku. That that's I know that that's what CU intends. Is it wrong of me to not put Andorthy right. because of the same reason? CU has, for others, we're dealing with Romanized or translated right. names. But with Andorthy, CU's written it out in Roman letters. So we don't really have... I just, I'm, I'm in such denial. <laughs> I'm in such denial. <laughs> I'm in such denial. I get that Zahard is the way to say Zahard. And, and I'm just so used to Jihad. You know, it's how it is. But man, in Dorothy... Ugh, I don't know. Uh, much of an excuse not to go with that. Oh movie. my god. And again, it doesn't sound that wrong. I anymore. did, I, yeah. yeah. I don't know if something's happening with my brain, <laughs> but it doesn't sound wrong to me. It doesn't look wrong to me. Uh, but right. again, I just put that there. I think right. any translation's fine. It's kind of like with Shibisu, the B and P in Korean can be pronounced as either B or P. Right. And it's the same character. So you just have to go off of context of like where it is within the word yeah. or whatever. And yeah. it kind of could be or should be Shibisu. That's his secondary name that mm. Kun calls him by. And with the E, it's the same character that's in Yihua. But the issue is that oh. I've seen so many different romanizations of this. So, like, it's very common in Korean names. Weird. And I've seen it as Yi, as in Y-I. I've seen it as E, whether just the letter E or the letter I. I've seen it as Li, whether L-I or L-E-E. Oh, L -E -E. weird. So it has been romanized so There's many There's a lot of options. It's the same characters. That, it's not weird. It's cool. Um, shib Isu, Shib Yisu, Shib Lisu, they're all correct. Same way you could call her Iwa, Yiwa, even Liwa, and like, it's technically, it's technically yeah. I've seen it done. So Interesting. it's not like one of those situations where they've been romanized a lot of different ways. Uh, and Dorothy <laughs> has been written out as in Dorothy. So yeah, she's been in 229 chapters. The top three are pretty much untouchable, I think. Yeah. And Rossi cemented closed the gap a little bit with Rack. Don't say that. One. Don't say and that. Then it, it's Don't just such that. a large gap. Okay, Rack has been in God. 306 chapters. Uh, That's over half the series. Shout out Rack.
Kunagro Agnes has been in 414 <laughs> chapters in second place. And first place is Bomb or Viol with or Viole with 527 chapters out of 600. I put Ju Viole Grace because wow. I put 25th Bomb last time. And honestly, the more I read, the more That's I'm like, should we be calling him Viole? Should That's we be lot. calling him Bomb? I don't know what I should be calling him. Um, wow. But I put him there. And what's interesting to note is that last time, we're seeing less and less of Bomb. Really. Yeah, I was going to say that. Bomb was in 450 out of 500 chapters. Right. There were only 50 chapters in the series that he wasn't in. Right. But now he hasn't been in, what is this, 73 chapters? He wow. Like so he hasn't been in 73. I love it, so bro. In 500 chapters, he only missed out on 50. But in the Ren Rika. Century, he's missed out on almost half that again. So I think by the time we get to 700. Shout out to Bomb, dude. Kind of pace, by the time we get to 700, we might have hit the point where we've had over 100 chapters without any without bomb. bomb. Left. That's pretty uh, crazy, yeah. man. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Top 100. Like okay, I said, though, really quick, I will do the top 10. Okay, so Haku's about to go into the top 10 post hiatus, guys. After we do this, we'll read the chapter. Um, link is in the description to this video. Go support Haku. He's put so much work for the Tower of God community. Please go support. I wrote down who my 10 predictions were for the top 10 character screen time. Again, post hiatus. So this is post, like, Ren appearing at the end and, like, giggling and stuff. Wait, right, Haku? Just, just let me clarify before my guesses, right? This is, like, Ren saying, I'm going to kill Viol. That's when the hiatus started. And ever since, top 10 characters, correct? I have 10 guesses for that, if that's what we're judging this off of. Post hiatus. Yeah, so 551 to 600. Perfect. Okay, I have my 10 guesses. Okay, I'm actually fairly confident for some reason. My guesses are Bomb, okay? We got Bomb, Lilial, Serpent Master, Tromerai, you guys can't see, whatever, Kuhn, Tiara, Yuri, Rack, Goruro, and Cha. I'm putting stocks in Goruro, let's find out. From the post hiatus, which is Ooh. chapter 551 to chapter 600. Let's find out, let's find out. Shout outs to patrons and members, so let's go do that. Much like last time, I don't have a visual made for the top 10 from post hiatus, but from chapter 550 to chapter 600, 10th place is Povedal Mate Ha. Damn it. Damn it. No, I mentioned Mate for the top 100, but I didn't mention it for the top 10. Ah, oh, that feels so bad. No, no, I got it wrong. Oh my god, I got Mate wrong. Oh no, this is going bad. This is going poorly. So Mate is actually 10th place. Then 8th slash 9th place is a tie between Traumaray and Yuri. They Traumaray. That's two. Oh, you think this list is bad? Traumaray and Yuri. Boom. Boom. I think my list is accurate. To a T, aside from that one blunder, it's probably not Gororo or Cha. They've both been in the same amount. Then another tie for sixth slash seventh uh -huh. place is Rack and Tiara. What did I say? Rack and Tiara. Rack and Tiara. Boom. Rack, Tiara. I'm four out of five right now. You guys are crazy. I'm four out of five. Rack and Tiara have been the same amount. And then in fifth place, there's Serpent Master. In fourth place. Fifth Serpent Master. No, Robodon's not in the top. No, Robodon can't be in the top. There's Lilial. Lilial. I'm cooking right now. In third place, there is Kuhn Agro. I'm, dude, okay, and that just leaves, okay, my final guesses, okay? <laughs> Bomb, Gororo, okay, this is, wait, wait, who's number two? Aside from Bomb. Please don't tell me it's Bellarier. It's not Bellarier, it's not Bellarier, it's not Bellarier. Who's number two? It's definitely not Cha or Gororo. I, I blundered on Cha and Gororo. Let's find out. Wagnus. Second is Andrasi in first place. Oh my All right. Sorry. Hey, I didn't. Guys, 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 I would never forget. Guys, I would never forget Endorsey. I would never. I would never forget Endorsey. I would never. I would never forget Endorsey. I love. I actually love Endorsey. I think Endorsey is a great character. I'm a big fan of Endorsey. Please forgive me. Places bomb Damn. for a while there. All right, I got Serpent eight out of ten. We're like neck and neck, but then as we got out of the hotel arc, really kind of fell off a little bit. Wow, um, Lilial was really way up there. I mean, she still is. She's still in fourth, but kind of eight got out of ten. Get freaking wrecked. So 
that wasn't a super, Doubters. super shocking top 10, really, which is why I was like, I'm not going to make that big a deal out of it. Yeah. But there it is. It's not Thank that, you so much not for that shocking. Hopefully this video wasn't a complete... Shout out to Haku. Haku did a great job. Look, I'm, we're going to read the chapter now. Actually, you know, I'll let it play out. We're almost there. It's hard to know until I go and start editing because I did so much of this, just like I said, off the Go top. support no Haku, guys. guys. Link whether, is whether in the description. The, um, the rest I just kind of had to... Go check it out. By top of my head. Either way, that's it. Thank you so so much for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there. Go like the video, what guys. Thought of all this, some of your favorite. I already did. What were you surprised by? I was the most surprised by Doom in 35th. That to me was the shocking. Shout movie. out Doom. Last time, I don't remember. Was Traveler the most shocking? I don't know who was the most shocking to me last time. But last time, time, dude, the fact that Mask Girl time, is still I, in the top I 100, like I hate it. I hate it. I hate barely, it. But 35 is a lot, especially above Yasracha. Just. It, it that's weird i agree but, um, that's weird yeah, comment whatever you feel like commenting uh we can talk down there we can talk on twitter if you want that's weird man <laughs> it's free and open for anyone just asking i can give you a link and if you want to help support the channel drop a super thanks if you'd like to or if you would like to help support the channel by joining as a channel member hit join down below do all the cool Patreon, things patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or link will be in the take care kurt link will be in the description uh channel members and patrons get one piece videos early and they also get a shout nice. out at the end of every video so huge huge massive thank you to patrons and members thank you to Joseph oh, i love Michael the layout Michael, to Magic that's such a cool layout magical curls fr nono smeller dog and abyss knight to Cherryton student david langstaff to slayer candidates sg and Sancy, nice and to pure element Pate Ardialo. thank you all so 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 much for your support uh thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all next time let's freaking go shout out haku <laughs> my voice is dying apparently that was so much fun Okay, we're obviously a little late, but that was worth it, man. Okay, guys, my list was 8 out of 10. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, that was super fun. That was super fun. Now, obviously, we have a chapter to read. But I, I said something at the start for people who weren't here. Go check out Haku. Haku Haku does so much for the community, okay? We have screen time. Haku did the character popularity poll. Dude, please, go check out Haku. And thank you, Haku, for, for suggesting and, and uh, letting me share the video and all that. It's freaking... It's so much fun. Every time Haku releases a new cool video like that, it's sick. Also, 11 to 25, we have... Uh, Robodon was number 11? Wow. Okay, that's closer than I thought. Then it's Shilio, Goro. Cha is so much lower than I thought. Yama, Gustang, Dravi, Laura, Ren, Keating, Hema Slime... Grand Abuelo, okay, Cha, Jinsung, Isracha, El Baba, that's awesome. Thank you for, for sharing that, that's great. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, the order? I wasn't doing it for order. Okay, let me clarify. That list was not in order. I was just naming the top ten. That it was not in order. All right, we're doing the font. We're doing the font live. I promised we would. We're doing the font live. I just felt like it was very fitting for what we're doing. You know what I mean? Haku's gonna go check, do his own reaction. And so, after, yeah, hey, after you finish watching this, go check out Haku's reaction, because it's gonna be up by tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, okay, boom. So this was our font last time, okay? Now watch, watch me cook, okay? This is a special day, you're gonna watch how I make a font, okay? So first thing we do, we create a layer, okay? Second thing we do, we have a marker, okay? I'm gonna pick a softer brush, okay? Then we pick a color, okay? Color, I'm feeling light blue, okay? It's chapter 602 today, so I'm doing, oh God. Okay, this is, okay, that's way softer than I meant. Let's switch back to, oh God, okay? Chapter, oh my God, that was a bad one. 602, okay? I'm gonna do a bit of a nice squiggly under, okay, that was bad. Okay, this is our font, right? But, th but you think we're done? We are far from done. Then we go and add a stroke. What in God's name is that? What in God? Okay, that's okay. We add a stroke. We change the color. Let's make it like, I don't know, green. Blue and green probably looks good, right? Nice. Okay, we add the stroke. Okay, then we, we add some like emboss. Okay. We add some depth to this thing. What is happening with the with the C? I don't even know. Okay. Uh, let's add that. Let's soften it a little bit. Okay. Then we add a drop shadow. Okay. Drop shadow changes everything. Boom. We add a drop shadow. That looks clean. This reminds me of like Captain Crunch. If any of you have had... Those, those of you who had Captain Crunch, I'm, we're, we're creating Captain Crunch as we speak. And then... Can we add like a, a glow? Sure, I don't know if it did anything. Um, that might be our font. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. That's a, you know what? But we can add even more. We could add like a smiley face over here. God, that's cursed. 
We could add like a tongue face over here. We could add some hearts to the bottom. That's our font. Let's freaking go. All right. Font complete, everybody. Let's freaking go, dude. Honestly? Wait, hold on. Just wait till you see it on screen. Wait till you see it on screen. Wait until you see it on screen. Yes, this is actually why I'm late half the time. Indeed. All right, you guys ready for this? Check this out. Ready? Are, are you ready for this? Boom. That's a good... You know, it looks better in Photoshop. <laughs> it looks better in Photoshop. But you know what? We take what we can get. All right, everybody. We've we, I've blabbered long enough. Go check out Haku again. Shout out to Haku for that great video. It was super fun getting to uh, see what was happening there. Last time on Tower of God, Luzlek and Yurik Beast, they stopped their fight. And we had this awesome, awesome cliffhanger with Enkidu. Oh, my God. Dude. Traumarai fans, I'm starting to get it. <laughs> I'm starting to get it, bro. You know what? I'm never going to leave my family. <laughs> but I'm never going to leave the family. But if I was, I would never do it. All right, let's begin. I'm going to refresh. The chapter is live. And here we go, guys. Chapter 602 of Tower of God, a.k.a. Season 3, Episode 185. Let's dive on in. Let's find out what happens. We're picking up with where we left off. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Died because of that monster. It's Icarus. It's gotta be. I feel like they're saying the name Icarus. Gustang is showing... Traumarai, the name Icarus, right? So it's not even just, like, out of the blue, like, why would it be Icarus? Gustang is showing Traumarai Icarus. Gustang is literally showing and trying to make Traumarai remember. Because, again, that's Gustang's entire point with all of this, is trying to remember the past and trying to, like, get the family heads to remember this stuff, you know? That's his goal. Enkidu, it's your fault that this happened and we see cracking in the background it's so weird seeing him much more nature like i feel miserable i'm going to erase this memory does bomb know does bomb know this because the Leviathan told Bomb a lot of stuff. Tower of God, Enkidu 2. Are we going to see what this creature even is? What even the frick is an Enkidu? Someone in the comments, by the way, said Leviathan makes an appearance in the Epic of Gilgamesh. So there's, it's not even an impossible connection in comparison. Man, it's a downgrade. I'm sorry. I know you Traumarai fans are going to kill me for this. Look at this, okay? Gorgeous. I'm sorry. It's a downgrade. I'm sorry. It's a down. I'm sorry. It's a downgrade. And listen, he looks fine. He looks beautiful. But he's a it's a downgrade. I'm sorry. Okay. Enkidu. You probably don't really remember much, but it bothers you deep down. Every time you go to bed, I bet you remember that animal's name. And it keeps you awake. What did it do? It just, it killed somebody, but like... It must have been the first time he couldn't control an animal. And maybe that's why he was so interested in Wong Wong. Because it was kind of a similar scenario where he couldn't control somebody. I don't know. What's all this about? Don't you want to know what it is? He's, he's taunting him. He's baiting him. Dude, the fact that Bellarier, by the way, God, ah, sorry, okay. If I want to know, I'll just destroy everything in my way and go in there myself. Why should I bother playing some silly game that you designed? Of course, we gotta, we gotta tie in the games and I'm all here for it. I'm afraid you can't do that. Our family leader has already agreed to play this game. Are we not doing the chess match? 
If you make a mess of the arena, Lord Gustang might decide to slay the creature. So the taunt is that Traumarai might want to, like, kill the creature himself or, like, meet the creature, find out the truth because he forgot? And yet, even though he forgot, the name, like, keeps him up at night. Oh my god. What? It's your choice, Lord Traumarai. Either you accept this game and gain the opportunity to meet Enkidu. When did Enkidu get captured? Or you forsake that opportunity and destroy everything here as you like. I can't believe these nobodies expect me to play their little game. I like how for Bellarue, this is like the biggest moment of his life. And for Traumarai, it's just Tuesday. And he's like, man, <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> I don't want to play. I don't want to play a game. What in the world is Gustang thinking? Fine. Just to be clear, I don't want to do this. He's made, he's, I just want to make it clear. This isn't what I want to do. Okay, that's fair. But go ahead and tell me about the game. Yo, look at the squad. Even Dumas. I saw a comment recently. I was going back through some of the uh, chapters, like what, 15 chapters ago-ish? Maybe more? And it was one of the times when Dumas showed up to fight Bomb and Jin Song. And one of the comments I saw was like, guess this guy named Dumas is dead. Bro, Dumas freaking soloed that entire thing and now is still here and is one of the strongest non-family head characters we've ever met. I just love that. I love seeing characters have the sort of respect and like prove that they're kind of crazy. If that's the best way to put it. All right, we're playing a game, dude. So now we're all stepping through. I can't, I hate to say it, but Bellary are kind of, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> not going to say it. There it is. Oh my God. Look at all the posts. Yo, Dumas is just strolling in with them and Traumarai. Look at, this is weird. It's weird. It's always weird seeing Traumarai just walking with them, walking with people, you know, Look at this thing. Look at the sprout. So is Rachel and Har are Rachel and Haryun still here? They've got to be. And Dorsey looks gorgeous. God, she looks so cute. That's the sprout. Doesn't it seem kind of big to be a sprout? Nice one. Nice one. Where exactly is the arena where we'd be playing chess? Okay, chess game is still on. It's in the center of the sprout, of course. So they chose... Guys, Gus, reminder that Gusting's the one that chose the spot. Gusting was the one that got to decide the arena, and he definitely chose the Sprout because of Enkidu. Because he wants Traumarai to run into Enkidu. Oh my god, this is about to be crazy. There you'll find a table set up for your match. Ooh, that looks clean. Same pieces as before. Now let me tell you about the game you'll be playing in the meantime. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a chapter with game rules. It's we haven't gotten one of these since the Cat Tower. Wow. The game is called Gakcha Dose. I mean, slay the chess pieces. Sorry. What? Is it going to be a thing where, like, every time one of them takes a pawn or a rook or whatever, the, someone has to fight the thing? Slay the chess pieces. Yes, I'll give you a brief description of the game. As the name implies, in this game you must either kill or steal each other's chess pieces. And then you will proceed with the showdown among the remaining pieces. That's so genius. That's so genius. So basically, if we can like steal their queen, Traumarai has to play the game or Gusting without the queen. Or if we kill like two pawns, they don't have two pawns when they start the game. The entire, that's not even chess anymore. 
It's a different game. Whoa. 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 Wow. If any of your chess pieces die during this game, you'll have to take part in the showdown with fewer pieces. I love it. And what exactly do you mean by killing chess pieces? Is this what I think it is? Bella Rear said, good to see you. Do you like your tie? I... He's wearing the same... Oh my god. You sure are quick for a regular. I do like that SIU included like that. Hey, I know you. Oh my god. This is so hype. Oh my god, this is so hype! That... All of you here will be the chess pieces. I love it. I love this for two reasons. One, it's exciting. They're gonna get hunted down. It's so cool. And two, we're gonna find out which chess piece is who. Like, who corresponds to each of the chess pieces. Give me one sec. Sorry, Chrono, had to take care of Chrono. That is so cool, and it makes me wonder, is Bomb gonna be the queen? No, Bomb's gonna be the king. Cause the thing is, if Bomb gets taken out, you lose, right? Wait, hold on. But both people want bomb. I don't know. Dude, SIU could go in a lot of different directions with this. But then again, okay, chess has eight pieces, sorry, 16 pieces on each side. Do we have 32 players? You know? I don't know. Like, even just with this group, sure, we have like Dumas. We have seven. There's only seven here. Hua Reun and Rachel, maybe? I doubt it. This is so cool. Where are the chess pieces? I never agreed to this. You're not real chess pieces, of course. It's a symbolic role. To be more precise, you'll represent Lord Gustang's chess pieces in the game. Who represents Traumarize? <gasps> the branch leaders! Wait! That's why, that's why Bellarier wanted the branch leaders. I'm spitting all over the place. Wait a minute. The branch leaders are going to be traumatized chess pieces. And then Bomb's team is going to be Gustang's chess pieces. I called this. I said Bomb's group is going to have to fight the branch heads from Lopobia in some way. Oh, shoot. This is so freaking cool. It's definitely that. It's 100% that. Why else would Bellarier want to use the branch leaders? You will each symbolize one of Lord Gustang's chess pieces in the showdown. If you die in battle or are captured, I see, so that's why Bomb, or are captured by Lord Tromrai. Is Bomb a rook? Then Lord Gustang loses the chess piece that you represent. I'm pretty sure the octopus was a rook. Yeah, it's a rook. Is Bomb a rook? Wait, this, this is so cool. This is both simple. It's simple for sure, but it's also just sick. It's so cool. It's so cool. The branch leaders are fodder. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't want to play this game. Okay, Dorsey. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to play. I'm out. <laughs> if you don't play, Lord Traumarai will kill you anyway. I guess so. Oh my god. Bomb, Coon, and Rat. They're, they're a bunch of them. Dude. And Dorsey's going to be so pissed because I bet you she's going to be a pawn. I don't know. I, I can envision a comedy panel where we find out in Dorsey's a pawn. Maybe I'm wrong. So just shut up and do it, you foolish princess. Damn, you little... <laughs> Are you not going to tell us which chess piece each person represents? That's right, only the players themselves will know which chess piece they are. It wouldn't be any fun if you both knew that. So Bomb isn't a rook, it's a secret. Oh, shoot. 
So basically, it's like you don't know. You have to kind of guess what they represent and then target the ones that you think are going to be like higher value or something. This is so cool. I hate that Bellarier came up with this. Oh, that's true, Sleepy. Maybe the other branch leaders playing into this. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. It won't take long for me to wipe them all out myself anyway. Not so fast. I'm afraid that's not allowed. I was going to say, it's not Tramurai versus everybody, right? I'm afraid it's not allowed. You and Lord Gusting can knock down the king yourselves. But otherwise, only the players representing your chess pieces are allowed to take part in the battle directly. Is Tromari gonna go along with that? He's gonna have to, right? If, you're exer if you exercise your power when slaying any other piece but the king, you'll be disqualified. That makes sense. But they can kill the king. Maybe they'll take a guess on who's the king. What if bomb is the king on both sides? That doesn't make any sense. Like first one to capture bomb is like you you take their king. I don't know. The king. You. They are each other's king. Wait. You mean one of us? Oh no, this is the regulars. Sorry. You mean one of us is going to be the king? This better be Rack. Come on, let Rack be the king. Exactly. The game wouldn't work unless there's a king, right? One of you will be the king. Okay, we have confirmation that the whale is the king. Which we had anyway, but I always forget. If either side comes to the arena without their king, the game will be over automatically, showdown or not. The battle will begin in two hours. Try to keep your chess pieces alive and avoid capture until then. Oh wait, so the chess game begins. Because you'll be playing the chess game with the remaining pieces. I have a feeling we're going to axe some characters like Gororo. I think Gororo is going to be like one of our pieces that gets lost. You know what I mean? If the game continues until the time when the showdown was originally supposed to start, then you'll have to play only with the pieces that arrive in time for the showdown. That's assuming you both manage to protect your king, of course. I see. So they also have to make it. What is it, buddy? I know you're upset that Yasracha is dead, but it's been a while. Come on. Get in here. Come on. I may not be allowed to kill the other chess pieces, but as long as I can slay the king myself. He's. Dude, he likes the game. He's getting into it. Don't I have a huge advantage since I'm up against Mir regularly? You do, but you don't know who the king is, do you? Why is the Pobodao family suggesting a game like this to me? Hmm. Weird. Weird. We're gonna have mind games for sure. With him trying to figure out who it is. And it's gonna be scary when he figures it out. The previous day. The previous day? The site of the battle between... This is so interesting. The site of the battle between Lopobia's forces and Pobodao's forces. What's up, Robodon? Oh my god, look who it is. Katan. Commander! I searched everywhere, but I couldn't find the branch leaders. They are, there are bodies of dead troops, but no survivors. I wonder where they are, huh? I wonder where they are! I'm sure this is where the battle took place. Where the heck did everybody go? What about the call for help we received? Could it have been a trap? Were they trying to bait Robodon away? The turtle! Wait, what? Wait, the turtle branch head? This, wait, we've seen this guy in his shell before. He's still there? The frick is happening? What the heck is happening? The turtle branch head didn't get captured by Bellarier? What a freaking Chad! Did the turtle branch head escape? <laughs> what? The eye on the tree. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. Wait, this dude survived. Oh, hello. Wait, you're the branch head? Lord Robodon! Oh, they're crying. They're crying. Ah, go for the hug. 
They're tiny. They're tiny! What? I love this. Pococo! Dude, these these names. These names, I swear to god. Pococo! Let's go! The turtle branch head! I love it. Wait, I love this so much. You came! Leader of the Lopobia family's turtle branch! Lopo Lopobia Pococo. Dude, best character? Best character Pococo? Wait. Wait. So I'm gonna okay, so <laughs> we saw turtles before. Compression, maybe. Yeah, like, maybe this is, like, maybe compression because of hiding. Maybe this was their way of hiding. So that that's possible. Maybe this isn't their ordinary body size. But still, it's cool. It's cool. But we saw turtles before when Bomb and, and company were trying to escape in the Dugong, right? Um, and Umtiti and Albaba were there. A bunch of turtles also rose up to attack. What in the world happened here, Pococo? If, if this is just compression, Robodon clearly isn't surprised. So this is definitely like a usual occurrence, you know, like Pococo being super small. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Let's freaking go, dude. A shrimp! What was his climb like? You know what? Being small, gotta have its advantages, right? What in the world happened here, Pococo? Well, let me explain. Keating betrayed us. First, the Pobodel family warped us here. Then, they killed anyone who resisted, and took those who surrendered with them. Dude, shot the frick out the- Dude, Bellarir, frick you. Frick you, Bellarir. Frick you, dude, your plan failed. You didn't get them all, Bellarir! One of them escaped! Loser. They said something about a game. What? A game? I understand the rules of the game. Okay, it's Trump, right? We're putting it back. Yo, Pococo, freaking best character. I love Pococo. I love Pococo. Also, Chrono's back. Say hi to Chrono, everybody. He's back. Chrono is the branch leader of the cat branch. Now that Yasracha has passed on, you're, you know, you're, you're, whatever. There, there's not a cat branch, but let's pretend like there is. Okay. I get that I'm not supposed to know which of Gustang's chess pieces is which. But what about my- Sorry, hold on. One sec, I just gotta close this door. There we go. But what about my chess pieces? See, it's all time to get at the branch heads. I freaking knew it. How are they decided? Just like Gustang's chess pieces, you will have players of your own to represent your pieces as well. I don't think he's gonna like this, though. Because- Because he's basically putting it in fate's hands. For him, he's not in control. His branch heads, who he probably doesn't even like, because he's freaking trauma eye, you know? And who would they be? We're gonna see them all. Oh my god. There they are! Wow! I mean, trauma eye was completely out of the blue. Your entire army got freaking squashed, trauma eye. What's that? A prison ship? Lord Chomurai! He looks a little surprised. Surprise, all your kids! Are those... He's shocked! Are those the branch... Holen as well! Who the frick is this? Wait, have we seen you before? Wait, yes, the elephant, right? The elephant branch head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, look at them all! Wee Wee, Ju, I forget these two, Holen, yo! Look at them all. Wait, Holen's hair grew back. Wait, Holen's hair grew back. Are we gonna get Holen versus Bomb rematch? Dude, Holen, Holen, screen time, by the way, the Holen stocks are rising. I'm telling you, he's actually been in a lot. He's been in a lot of the recent arcs. Holen got captured, wow. Wow, I didn't think Holen was there with them. That's so, that actually makes things interesting because he's a regular, right? So his matchup with some of our regular characters could be interesting. What is this red right here? A game. What do you mean? Look how small Pococo is. Well, I'm not really sure either. They abduct, they appear to have abducted the branch leaders who surrendered for some kind of game in order to, what did they say again? Oh, right. They want to see Lord Traumarai. Probably because of the betrayal and everything. 
Family reunion, yeah. The branch leaders. Def they want to see Lord Tromerai defeated by his own underlings? What? Wait, wait am I reading that wrong? Do they want him to li- wait, what? What are you all doing here? Lord Tromerai. You see, these people were caught trespassing on our family's territory. Unfortunately for them, they fell into a trap and were brought here as captives. You fools. Now I see what's going on. So they're going to represent my chess pieces in this game. He's like, you freaking idiots. It's Keating's fault though, let's be honest. Correct, each, hey buddy, each one of them each of them will represent one of your chess pieces. If any of them die, then the corresponding chess pieces disappear as well. They promised the administrator to take part in the game at the risk of their own lives. So if you refuse to play, they will all die. That's how he gets Traumarai. No matter what, Traumarai has to play unless he just lets them all die. What would you like to do? I guess I'll have to play the game. He does care a little bit about his branch heads. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? He's saying, well, okay. <laughs> He's like, I gotta play. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have to play. I have no intention of losing anyway. I'm sure you're probably up to something. But whatever it is, you're going to regret this. They pissed him off. I mean, you set off a family head. That's very dangerous. <laughs> Bell rear, beat his pants a little bit, all right. Very well, I'm looking forward to the game. I absolutely love this game idea. It's so genius. It's such a, it's kind of like how a spin on hide and seek in season one. It's just so fun. You know, it's just, it's fun taking like a, an established game and then go and like kind of twisting the rules and like bending it a bit. Meanwhile, the entrance on the other side of the sprout. This is where Dustang's appearing. What if we get like Aria and, and Vicente, you know? Cause they're on the Gustang ship. Probably not. Poe Badao's forces. Look who it is. I always forget this character's name. It's the spear bearer for Gustang. I gotta get better with names. It's, cause I, it's because I'm so far behind Tower of God, I'm not, I'm never like going on the wiki anymore. I used to go on the wiki all the time, but like it's, I know it's not, it's just anytime I search for stuff, it kind of scares me. But to be fair, I could just read the chapters and memorize them. Oh shoot, okay, okay. They've arrived. Robodon's fleet. Oh, shoot! Wait, is Robodon's fleet gonna fight Pobodao forces outside of this game? Those are Lopobia's most powerful forces. Let's go, Robodon! Let's go! Robodon's field army. God, I love the respect Robodon gets. Is it... Is it Kier? If it's Kier, then why are they... Kerr, <laughs> you know? That's kind of weird. Kerr. So maybe they call them by the name that, like, that they make? The sound that they make? You know? Uh-oh. All right. The craziest spear bearer in Pobodao's uh, family. It's Pobodao's forces. I didn't want to have to face you all in battle like this. God, I love Robodao. He's going to kick their ass. But you people started this war. He's such a cool character. Look at this panel of him. Oh my god. There's no need to resent each other. He's stomping. You're about to get clapped. You are about to get clapped. They're a Pokemon, literally. Even if I have to pierce right through your hearts. I'm getting to the arena where Lord Traumarai is waiting no matter what. I love Robodon. So cool, dude. 
For our first character with like major facial hair, first major character with major facial hair, because red beard doesn't count, the justice has been done. The spear being chucked. Okay. Blocking with his ba- Dude, he blocked the spear with his elbow. God, he's so freaking sick cool. Okay. Yeah, you're toast. You're I'm sorry. It's Robodon. What do you expect? You're gonna put up less of a fight than Hugo. Okay. Well, there goes the crazy cool looking spear. The crazy twisty looking spear. Yeah, you're done. GG. Oh, shoot! Oh, their arm just got blown to pieces from the explosion of Robodon blocking the attack. Oh my god! I guess you're no longer... There goes your, your throwing arm. Sorry, that's it. That's GG. Oh man, I can't believe I'm saying this because Pobodow's my family, but damn. He spared Hugo? I don't think he's sparing you. That's just my hunch. God, Robodon. They blocked the attack. Oh, okay, the lighthouses are here. Okay, the backup. Is it Richmond? No, is there different colored? And plus, Richmond turned back into ink, so. Is that what I think it is? <gasps> There's only one person in Pobodow's army who could create a barrier like that. It's gonna be, um... Oh, shoot. Uh, the, the, the character with the, the nose, the snout? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the name guy and I'm failing you on the names. I gotta get better. Yep, there, yep. The man in second place? This is who I was thinking of, though. In their family's heart. Proust! Wait, Proust is number two! Yo! So it goes. Bellarmere's at the top just for, like, political reasons. I refuse to believe otherwise. Careful, buddy. But then number two is Proust, and then Dumas. Wow. So Proust is a master light bearer of Povidal. God, he's so cool. Oh my god, the respect on Proust. So sick. This isn't going to be easy. All units! All units! We need Lopobi America. We need Catan. Oh, shoot! All units! Defend the arena! Yo, this is so sick! Oh my god! Charge! Wait! Wait! That's so hype! This is like the big... I feel like we've had a lot of like... One-sided skirmishes where Pobodow wipes out the Lopobias. Or the Lopobias wipe out the Pobodows. This is gonna be like neck and neck, wipe each other out kind of scenario. Oh my god! Because Robodon's like the number two. Him and Keating, right? So Proust being there... This is about to be so hype. I love this chapter because not only did we get the game introduction for, for the, which hypes up the upcoming chapters and like you can speculate on like the chess pieces and stuff, but also we actually have an entire fight happening in the meanwhile. So freaking cool, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Excuse me. Let's freaking go. Hype chapter. That was so much fun. I love that chapter. I can't, I'm, dude, okay. So keep in mind, Haku's also going to have a reaction to this. So I, I was going to say, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is watch Haku's reaction when he posts it probably this uh, tonight or tomorrow. Um, tomorrow morning or whatever, right? Probably tonight. So with that said, go check out Haku. Link down below. Go check out his video. Support him. This was so much fun. Leave a like on this stream if you enjoyed. I kind of, before Sunday, I want to like theorize on who the chess pieces are going to be. Like... Like, is Bong gonna be the king, or the queen, or a pawn, or a rook? You know, like, what's that gonna look like? Is Kuhn gonna be, like, a bishop or something? Um, I feel like that kind of fits for him. But at the same time, they're not the ones deciding it. Like, what even- is Belarbeer the one that decides that kind of thing? Belarbeer has a thing with Kuhn. Is Rachel involved in this because of Belarbeer? Because she's there with Huaryun. There's so many things. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. I gotta end it, though. We've been streaming for a while. 
Thank you guys for being here. Leave a like on this. We're going to play rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, you got to like the stream, whether you like it or not. Here we go. What do I even do? I got it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm playing rock this week. And the reason is... Chess pieces on a chessboard, they're kind of like little stones. They're like little carved figurines, right? Boom, we're placing the chess pieces on the board. Do you know? That's what I'm going with. If you beat me, I'll give you a shout out. Don, shout the frick out. You got me. Hannah got me again. Damn. That's unfortunate. I haven't gotten a single person yet. What's the heck? What's going on? I got Han. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Tasnim. P. August. Gizmo. Shout out. Uh, Vakita, shout out. Yurik Yu, shout out. Logic Slayer, Quartin, May. That's a lot of papers. That's unfortunate. Heart of Starkness. What if Emily chose the pieces? That's a genius idea. I love that idea, actually. Oh, shoot. Michael. Uh, shout out, guys. And if you like the stream anyway, you're the best. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.